Simba, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. Good morning, Boo. This morning, the cats are getting the Trader Joe's tuna for cats because I got home late last night and I totally forgot to defrost raw food. Actually, no, I am totally wrong right now. I set up their breakfast in their feeders and the breakfast should have went off at 7 a.m. this morning. So, okay, I've momentarily lost my mind. That's Boo's breakfast. Boo! That's your breakfast. That's your breakfast. Now the question is, did he eat his dinner? No, he didn't even touch his dinner. That's his dinner, that's his breakfast. I don't know why he's not eating. Boo! That's your food. I just sprinkled some crunchies on his food. He needs to learn how to eat out of this feeder. Because when I'm away overnight and for a weekend, that's how he's getting fed. Eat your food. Eat it. And this is the breakfast for the downstairs cats. Um, they ate all this one. They did not eat these. I think their routine is off. Obviously. Because I'm here yet the machines went off. Eat your food, Stella. I just put some crunchies in their food also. So Stella's gonna go finish that one off. Here comes Simba, I can hear him coming down the steps. Simba, you can eat your food. You can eat it. There they go. Splash will be next. Splash is letting me pat him. Hello, Splash. I moved the feeder in Boo's room closer to where he normally eats. And I put some crunchies in his food. And he ate half of it. He'll probably eat the other half. It's just I'm setting up the gates in his door right now. 9 a.m. Splash was sitting with Simba on the cat tower in the front window. But then when I took the camera out, he jumped down. Right now he's in front of the packages, which are in front of the tree. Simba has been playing with the undercover mouse. I don't know if Boo's right on the other side of the gate. Now I did that to the rug. Uh, Simba did not do that to the rug. I did that to the rug because the mouse was not turning. And even now, the mouse is off of the undercover mouse. So here's Simba. And I don't see Boo. There's Boo, he's in his window, looking outside. Maybe he's watching Hydrox. 11 a.m. I just opened the back door to give Hydrox some food and he was laying on this black cat doormat. And he just walked down the steps and he's sitting right there. And it looks like it is 36 degrees on the thermometer. And that would be a heat wave because the past few days it's been down in the 20s. So Hydrox looks like he's doing okay. Good morning, Hydrox. Good morning. He did not totally run away. Like right now, I even walked towards him and he's still standing there. He's probably like six feet away from me. You, are you hungry? Did the birds eat all your food? Okay, I, I don't see any dry food in the bowl. Um, which you can't see, but I can see from the angle where my head is. But can you see all the bird poop in there? See all the bird poop? A ton of bird poop on here and a whole bunch of new bird poop in the feeder. So the birds are getting in there and they're eating and they're pooping. Hydrox is getting a can of the Nature's Variety Instinct Limited Ingredient Diet Turkey formula. 
Okay, so you missed it because it happened really fast, and by the time I got the camera on and zoomed in, he had already walked away. Uh, but Hydrox basically walked over to the feeder, gave the food a sniff, and then walked away. So he must not be all that hungry. Uh, maybe he ate most of the dry food that was in the feeder, which is why he's not hungry. I don't know. Oh, here he goes. See? He just walked right past the food like he doesn't care about it. And that's good food and that's expensive food. Are you guys playing with each other? So I was in the other room and I heard like movement at this gate, like someone was like banging on the gate. And I couldn't figure out, you know, what it was. I thought Boo was basically banging on the gate because he wanted to get out. And then I just walked over here and I saw Simba like right here at the gate. But Boo's right here also, so I don't know if they're playing through the gate. Like, I don't know if Boo's trying to get out and Simba's just, like, looking at him. I mean, right now, it looks like Boo's trying to be friendly. Like, he's laying down, he's showing his belly. But, um, like, I don't know what the deal is. Right now, Boo's looking at Simba, Simba's looking at Boo. Let's see what happens through the gate. 11.17 a.m. See Boo? Boo's showing him his stomach. So it looks like Boo is trying to play and Simba was like, oh no, you don't. But then Boo got in his submissive pose. See, Boo needs to learn how to play with the other cats. But it's good that Simba's just sitting there, because Simba wants to play with him. Simba's just kind of setting some rules right now. Hey Boo, you want to play with Simba? Do you want to play with Simba? Okay guys, I'm sorry I tried to get that but the camera did not focus in time. All of a sudden I heard like a cat talking and I turned around and there was Hydrox and Simba smelling each other through the glass. They were basically trying to smell each other like they had their noses up against each other right through the glass. And then, I don't know if I made some noise as I was trying to focus the camera, and then Hydrox ran off. It is 6.45 p.m. Boo was on free roam all day. Right, Boo? You on free roam all day? He was sleeping on top of the cat tower in the living room window when I got back. And uh, I'm just about to give him some dinner. But maybe we need to open today's advent present, Boo? Boo, you want to open today's advent present? Is that a yes? Stretch. Look how long. What a long cat you are, Boo. Oh, long boy. Okay. Doesn't like it when I mess up his hair. Because he looks so pretty, right? Pretty boy, boo. Okay. Wanna to open today's present? Today is day 18. Boo, you gonna pose? Pose. Pose, right here. Pose, you look pretty, boo. Pose. pose. Let's see what the cat's got. What'd you get, boo? What'd you get, boo? Look, we got a new can of cat food to try. What'd you get? What kind of cat food is that? It is Tiki Cat Sardine Cutlets. Whoa. You like that, Boo? You like that? You wanna pose this way? Okay, we pose like that. 
pose like that. Look, look at me. Pretty boy. Pretty boy. I should really get like little training treats. So this is Tiki Cat Sardine Cutlets. This is grain free. What do we have here? We have sardines, sardine broth, sunflower seed oil, locust bean gum, choline chloride, xanthan gum, paprika, taurine, and then we go into a bunch of vitamins. So basically these are just sardines. Sardines, sardine broth, um, and some thickeners and vitamins. So I think the cats should like these, considering they really like that Polynesian barbecue with that red uh, big eye fish. Um, so this is the Tiki Cat Tahitian Grill. And it also, it looks like Boo's on the can. Do you see that? It looks like Boo. See the black cat? There's a black cat on the can, but the black cat has green eyes and Boo has golden eyes. Right, Boo? So this is what it looks like. It looks like sardines. And the reason why it has a bit of the red color is because paprika is one of the ingredients. Okay, I just dished some out for Boo, but I'm feeding it to him in this automatic feeder because I want him to get used to it. I'm going to shut the feeder and it will dispense the food in about six minutes. Okay, I just split up the rest of the can among these three feeders. And Stella has dived right in. Simba smelled it and then kind of walked away. Look at this. What is she going to do? Just go down the line and eat them all? There goes Simba. I just moved one of the feeders over for Splash. He's eating the food out of the feeder. He seems to be enjoying it. Again, they're only getting a taste. This is a really small, I think it's a three ounce can, and it's being split four ways. So they're all getting less than one ounce of this food. Basically just to taste it and just give you an idea of what the cat's like. Not that I am changing their diet to a canned food diet, but every now and then I think it's good to give them some variety. And so far from uh, this little advent experiment, they seem to like the fishy food the best. I mean, that goes back to what Sonia, um, the animal communicator, said that they wanted. They, they asked her for more fishy food and they really seem to like it. Here comes Splash. He ate what was in that feeder and now he's looking for more. I think they don't really like eating out of these feeders too much because there's not a whole lot of room for them to maneuver in that little feeding area. And the walls are pretty steep. Okay, I just heard Boo's feeder go off. Boo, come on, Boo. Boo, aren't you eating? Eat your food. Boo, you got food in the feeder. Come on, look, what's this? Boo, what is it? Eat it. Eat your fish. Don't you want the fish? Boo, look. There's fish in here. Eat the fish. Boo. So I put a few crunchies in the bowl with that uh, fish treat and Boo's not eating them. I don't know if he doesn't like the feeder. 
don't know what his deal is. Eat it. Eat it, boo. You can eat it. Okay, I just put a little bit of the food on the plate with a little bit of crunchies. He doesn't want that either. So he has the food in the feeder. He has a little bit of food on the plate. Is he gonna eat any of it? I just don't think he likes sardines. Maybe he'll eat it. I mean, he should like them because he ate the other day. But I want to get him used to eating out of that feeder. Maybe what I need to do is put like just a little tiny bit of crunchies in each compartment and just let it cycle through that. Look, he's eating it. He's like Simba. He puts his paw on the plate to hold the plate steady. That's what Simba does. If Simba's eating off a paper plate and the plate starts moving around, he holds it down with his paws. And Boo just did the same thing. Stella doesn't do that and Splash doesn't do that. Well, it looks like he likes it better on the plate than in the feeder, but after he eats it off the plate, let's see if he goes and eats it out of the feeder. He's smelling around for more. Are you going to smell it and eat it? Yeah, there we go. There we go. So it seems that all four of the cats really like this food. So for dinner, the cats are getting the can of tuna that I opened up earlier today. Uh, Boo's getting his tuna with some water and his herbs. Simba and Boo are pawing at each other through the gate. I know it's probably hard to see it because I'm shooting this way across the room and it's kind of dark out. And right now Simba is making kind of growling noises, but they've been pawing at each other through the gates. like. First, Boo was like pawing at Simba, and then Simba put his paw through the gate. Now Simba's in like submissive pose, where he's showing his belly. So it definitely looks like they want to play with each other, and they're just figuring out how to go about doing that. So I think it's a good thing that the gates are in the way, because sometimes Simba looks like he's getting upset, and Boo's like, well, you know, trying to figure it out. So that's what's going on. So now they're both laying down. They're both like in submissive poses. And I think they ju they're trying to figure out how to be friendly to each other. Boo showing his belly. Hello boys, are you being nice to each other? Are you guys being nice to each other? Are you getting along? You guys are going to play nice, right? You're going to play together nice and be best buddies, right? Best buddies? 7.35 p.m. Stella's on top of the cat tower, but she was just giving it a really good smell down because that is where Boo was laying all day. It is mail time. Let's open some more packages today. Boo's going to sit in his scratch and roll with his toy and watch me. Or maybe he's just going to play with the toy instead.
It says, hi Lucky, if anyone ever needed a box cutter, it's you, Lucky Lady. Also, I hope the cats enjoy the kickaroo from Linda Abaddon. Thank you so much, Linda. You are 100% correct. I am in desperate need for a box cutter, and in fact, I actually had it on my Christmas list this year. I am so happy you bought me one, and not only did you buy me one, you bought me the exact one that I need. I do have uh, one similar to this um, out in the garage somewhere, but um, I don't know where it is, and... I never used it inside, but now I have one specifically for opening these boxes. Thank you so much. And what do we have here? We have a Kong Kickaroo. And Boo is laying claim to it. Boo. Boo. Boo, we're opening packages right now. We're not playing. This is cute. Look how adorable that is. It looks like a Santa. Okay, boo. Okay, boo. Thank you so much, Linda. I'm sure the cats are going to enjoy this. I wish you could smell how amazing this smells right now. Oh my gosh. This is like my absolute favorite fragrance, and of course it is Stella's favorite also. And this is a Zoom bag. This is a frankincense and myrrh Zoom bag. Um, it has um, Zoom oil in it, and um, it looks like a sampler of all the different products. So it has... Uh, Zoom oil, good for massages and deep moisturizing, good for a party of one, better for a party of two. Then there is Zoom Mist for wherever you need a little spritz or pick-me-up. A mist made with 100% pure essential oils. Give it a shake and give it a shot. Uh, Zoom Wash, it's skin hydration with pure essential oils and saponified organic oils, super emollient, carefully handmade, sharply aromatic, and delightfully habit-forming. Zoom Bar, which is the bar soap. Uh, Zoom Body, which is part lotion, part healing potion. Zoom Body is an ultra-moisturizing, curative combo of healing herbs and oils. Zoom Rub. Apply where your body needs it most, chapped skin, cracked heels, cuticles, lips, healing, scars, tattoos, and more. Stella's going to go crazy over this stuff. Oh my gosh. Zoom tub. Dig in, slip in, let these all natural bath salts send your body into warm retreat for best results. Swirl a small handful, enjoy with a friend. Then it says Zoom clean. Laundry soap, the only 100% all-natural laundry soap mixed, poured, and bottled by Happy Hands to clean, soften, and freshen your clothes. This is so cool. This is from Lisa Havacost. Thank you so much, Lisa. I am really going to enjoy using all of these items and I'm sure Stella is really going to enjoy smelling me use all of these items. This says, Christmas is coming, and life sure is sweet, surrounded by presents and good things to eat. And there's a cute little kitten. It looks like Simba. It says, 
Dear Lucky F, may you and yours have a very merry Boomus, Boo Boo, Baby Girl, and Craig. P.S. Thank you so much for what you do for the least among us. I'm dreaming of cuddles and toys in my paws. I'm one lucky kitty with love, Santa Claus. Well, thank you, Boo Boo, Baby Girl, and Craig. That's a really nice card. This is super wrapped. Swarovski. Oh, that's pretty. What is this? Oh my gosh. Look. Oh my gosh. It's a Swarovski crystal cat. How nice is that? Oh my gosh. I've never seen one of these before, ever. It is so sparkly. Isn't that nice? I don't know if the camera is picking up how sparkly it is. It is so nice. Thank you so much, Craig. That is so pretty. I need to make sure I put this somewhere safe so the cats don't uh, knock it over. This looks like a fleece throw with a leopard print on it. How cute is that? Ooh, look. It is a 64 gigabyte Ultra Plus SanDisk SD card. That is great. Oh my gosh, look. It's Simba. That is so cute. That looks like Simba. That would be Simba. Oh. Oh, look. Dollar Tree. $20 to the Dollar Tree. That is cool. I'll definitely use that. $25 to Petco. Excellent. And $25 to PetSmart. That is so great. Dear Lady LF. Oh, well, first let's read the card. There's Simba, and it says, The stockings were hung by the chimney with care. Merry Christmas. Wishing all the joys of Christmas to you, Boo, Stella, Splash, Simba, and Hydrox, and sending you all just a few treats to make your holidays merrier. Thank you for all you do for these special cats and for those who have come to love them. All joy, love, and light from your friends, C.R. Barboni and Tarbell. Oh, thank you, C.R. Barboni and Tarbell. That is so nice of you uh, to send uh, these gifts. They'll definitely be put to good use. What do we have here? Oh my gosh, look. We have the Pure Bites. This is chicken breast and lamb liver freeze-dried treats. Now they sampled some Pure Bites um, in their advent calendar not too long ago, so I know they like these treats. Thank you so much. And they have lots of meaty sticks. Chicken meaty sticks. And salmon meaty sticks. And tuna meaty sticks. And whitefish meaty sticks. They are set with their meaty sticks and their special treats. This is great. Thank you. And more pure bites. This is freeze dried wild salmon. Very cool. Thank you so much. And what's in here? Is 
see if I can get it out. We have Duracell AA batteries. This is so great because today the undercover mouse toy was on and the batteries are starting to die on it again and I was just thinking that they need to be replaced so now I have a supply of batteries. And there's also some triple A batteries. Batteries always come in handy with these cat toys. Thank you. These are the LR44 batteries and this is what that little electronic bug toy uses. I don't know how you knew it uses that. That's really, really cool. Thank you so much. There's a whole bunch of batteries. Wow. This is great. Oh my gosh, look. And there's another bug toy, another crawling bug. Yay. We now have two crawling bugs in this house. These are actually the only kind of bugs that I actually like. So thank you so much, uh, CR, Barboni, and Tarbell. Um, this is, this is great stuff for the cats. They are going to love all of this. And, um, yeah, I totally appreciate the gift cards and the batteries. Definitely, definitely helps me out. This says, Dear LF, me and my human mom wanted to send your cat something. I hope they like it. Cuddles and kisses for them. Greetings from Cat Mookie and his human mom, Silky, from Germany. Please give Hydrox some treats too. All the best. Well, thank you guys so much. Let's see what we have. We have a set of cuddle blankets. These are super soft fleece blankets and look they have paw prints they're gray with paw prints how cute is that that is so cute you see the paw prints adorable we have some soft squishy balls these are cat toys and Simba and Boo are going to love these. I mean, Stella and Splash would love them also, but Sim and Boo are the ones that really love playing with balls. And we have these. These are Trixie. And these are cute. These are, these are like furry. They're soft and then they're furry. We're going to love playing with these too. We have some cat treats. These are Vitacraft cat yums. Uh, these are cheese. And these are all in German. Oh, there's a little bit of English on here. It says, juicy, extra meaty bites with tempting cheese. I've never seen these before. It's always interesting to see products from other countries that we don't have here. And then there are some adorable little cat toys. Look at the little stars. They're so cute. And we have some Vitacraft liquid snacks. This is with chicken. It says, the light and creamy treat loved by cats, the perfect snack for in-between meals, which your cat can enjoy straight from the packet or bowl, or even as a topping on their main food. It'll be really interesting to see how the cats like all these different treats. I like to be able to give them variety in their treats because they do tend to eat the same food um, every day, um, the raw food that I give them but with the little treats, I feel like they can get more flavors and more variety in that. So um, these are great, thank you. And then there are some Thrive 100% chicken treats. These are pure and irresistible. It says, feed as often as you wish, resale pack after use, store in a cool place out of paws reach. I've never seen these either, that is so cool. Thank you so much for this package of cat goodies. What do we have here? Oh my gosh. Guys, look. These are all a bunch of wrapped presents. This is a lot to open. So 
Something smells really good. Oh, this is for Hydrox, look. It says, to you and your cats at Christmas. That is so cute. I've never seen a card like that ever. Oh, it's a Hallmark. I didn't know they made cards to you and your cats. It says, wishing you happy hellos, fun times with friends and family, and lots of pampering to fill your holidays. From Zoa and Russell, the cat. Hope you and Stella, Simba, Splash Boo, and Hydrox enjoy the gifts. Well, thank you, Zoa and Russell. I'm sure everyone will enjoy the gifts. It was so nice of you to send them. Okay, where should we start? Start with the box? Okay. Okay, Boo, we're going to open the box? We're going to open the box, Boo? The box has tape on it. Look how cute, it's a black cat mug. I have not seen this mug in black. It looks like Boo. That is so awesome. It says, to LR from Zoa and Russell. Thank you. And look at this. Oh my gosh, look at this. Boo likes it already, Boo wants to use it. Look at this spoon, oh my gosh. I've never seen a spoon like that, look. It's a cat spoon. I guess you could put it on like the side of your mug. That's really, really cute. And then what is this? It says Meowy Catmas. I'm a bowl cozy pot holder. You can use me in the microwave under a bowl or just under a hot bowl. You can use me under a bowl of ice cream or anything you wish. Hope enjoy this handmade gift. Look. Look at the fabric. The fabric is all cats. Isn't that cute? That is so nice. And the mug will fit perfectly in there. Look. Look at that. It's a perfect fit for the mug. That way you don't burn your hands. What's in here? I love the plaid paper. It's very festive. Whoa. The cats have meaty sticks. Tuna, chicken, and chicken. They are set. They have so many nice treats right now. And what's in here? Oh my gosh, look, it looks like Stella. These are socks. They're so cute. Socks with Stella on them. Adorable. I don't know where you guys find all this amazing stuff. And then we have some cat toys. They're gonna love playing with these. And this, I think I know what this is because it smells so good. It smells amazing. What do you guys think it is? Do you know what it is? It is Stella's favorite soap. It is the frankincense and myrrh Zumbar. This is so great because I literally finished my last bar of this soap like a week or two ago and I've been using um, like tea tree oil soap which does not smell as nice um, because this is hard to find around here. There are like no stores uh, near my house that sell this. So thank you. I can't wait to use this. Oh my gosh, look. It is a wiggle worm chew toy. They need another one of these. Thank you so much for that. 
this is something that I also have not been seeing in any stores around here at all. It is a Jackson Galaxy Ground Prey Iguana. Stella's really going to like this because Stella likes any kind of like wormy toys or anything that looks like something that like scurries on the ground. And it's blue, which is their favorite color. Then we have Pet Stages Spin and Scratch. Lightweight to bat and chase encourages hunting instincts. Oh, these are nice. Anything that they scratch on, they should really like. They've never had these before, so, and Boo loves these little balls. These are like the little balls that come in the pet stages, that grassy box. This is gonna be fun to see how they enjoy playing with this. And then we have this present for Hydrax. Look at that cute tag. Isn't that adorable? What did Hydrox get? It is a Perfect Scent Catnip Massage Toy. Wow, he should like this. Although, you know, with Hydrox, I've tried playing um, with toys with him and giving him toys. He's never really had any interest. But you know what I'm going to do? Now that Hydrox has moved into Boo's apartment, I'm going to give him a toy in the apartment. I'm going to see if he likes to play with it in the apartment. That was Boo going crazy behind me. Um, yeah, so thank you. This is great. And I like um, the material that it's made out of because this is obviously uh, weatherproof. Thank you so much, Zoa, for this package of very thoughtful presents. Did you guys see bubbles? Did you see the bubbles? Who doesn't know what to do about them? Okay, let's see. Okay, Boo's afraid of him. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. 6.28 a.m. Splash is hanging out outside of Boo's door. 7.13 a.m. Simba's at Boo's door. See his tail? I wonder if he's playing with Boo. There's Boo. Boo's maybe four feet away from the door. Good morning, Simba. Boo just walked over. Good morning, Boo. How are you boys this morning? You good boys? We're not eating yet because I'm up early. Okay? We'll eat in a little bit. A little bit. Okay? I really think they want to be friends. They just have to negotiate the friendship. Right, Boo? You're not gonna jump on cats, right? We don't jump on cats. We keep our feet on the ground and we don't poke them, Boo. A lot of times cats don't like to be poked, okay? So don't poke them too much. They'll poke you back and then you guys might end up fighting. There's Stella. She's on top of the cat tower in the front window. She jumped on my bed this morning and woke me up. But it was after my first alarm went off, so that was okay. 7.58 a.m. I'm just about to feed the cats. I'm giving them some wheatgrass first. They've been on free roam all night.
Splash and Simba love to visit Boo at his door with the gate. Today for breakfast, the cats are getting the Nature's Variety Instinct about chicken bites. There's his food. Hello, Boo. How are you? It's about 8.25 a.m. and I just gave Hydrox his food. He's getting a three ounce can of the Nature's Variety. Uh, turkey formula. And there's Hydrox, he just came out of the heated cat shelter. Today is like a balmy day. It's supposed to be up into the 50s at around 51 degrees. And look who's watching me from the back door. It's Splash. Splash is like, what's going on out there? It is 8.15 p.m. I just got home and Boo is getting the Primal Raw Turkey Nugget with Nature's Variety Instant Raw Chicken Bites water, and his herbs. That is Boo's breakfast. He did not finish it. Here's his dinner. And I put some of the freeze-dried raw chunks in the automated feeder, and it looks like he has not eaten those either. Um, when I drove up, he was sleeping on top of the cat tower in the front window. So uh, it could be that he was just sleeping and he didn't hear feeder going off. But he has food now, okay, Boo? You got new food. Are you gonna eat the crunchies? Eat your crunchies. I gave the cat some wheatgrass to nibble on as an appetizer so I can get their dinner ready. We're having like a little petting festival down here right now. Splash is getting petted. Simba's getting petted, Stella's getting petted. They're all getting petted before they eat. Look what a good boy Splash is. He sits so nice. He doesn't like the camera on him though. It's 8.54 p.m. and I hear someone under the Christmas tree. I think it's Stella. Stella. Bella. Is that Stella under the Christmas tree? Hello, Stella. Do you like to be under the tree? I have to open up uh, a lot of these packages to make more room under the tree for the cats. I also need to put the lights on. Now can we see Stella better? Because I put the lights on. Hello, Stella. Simba's looking at Stella. He better not be thinking about jumping in the tree. Simba. Simba, we don't jump in trees. We don't steal ornaments off of trees. Got it? He's gonna take that mushroom. Hey Stella. Hello Stella. Stella is right next to that pet remedy diffuser, like right next to it. So she could potentially be getting a good whiff of it. It is 10.54 p.m. There's Stella. She's sleeping in her little blue bed. And there's Splash. He's hanging out on the couch. Question is, where's Simba? Here's Simba. Simba was actually upstairs. I thought all the cats were downstairs. But tonight Boo is on free roam. They were on free roam last night, so I'm getting ready to put them downstairs. What I'm gonna do is I put the gates um, in the door between the upstairs and downstairs and they can kind of communicate with each other through the gates 
and um, Simba came running me because he thinks I'm giving out some treats or some dry food. I don't know where he was. He must have been sleeping somewhere. I think he was probably in the cat tower in the front window. It is day 19 on the cat's advent calendar. Boo, what did you get? What'd you get, Boo? Wanna pose? Wanna pose with the bag? No, he doesn't want to pose. You wanna open it? Okay, let's open it. Let's open it, Boo, come on. What do we get? Kuka Manga Catnip Bubbles. Two-in-one interactive design. Fun to swat and play. Catnip provides aroma to enhance play value. Super concentrated with natural catnip extract. Directions. Dip wand into bottle. Stir gently. Remove wand and blow in your cat's direction. That's interesting. Boo, you want to play with the catnip bubbles? You want to play with the catnip bubbles? So here's what they look like. They just look like, you know, your typical bubbles. And then there's a wand inside. I don't want him drinking it or anything. So let's see if we could blow some catnip bubbles. I don't want him spilling it either. I hope this isn't going to be messy. I don't want him drinking it. What are you doing, boo? See if I could hold it. I'm sitting on the floor, so let me see. Look at this. Look at that. Did you guys see bubbles? Did you see the bubbles? Boo doesn't know what to do about them. Okay, let's see. Okay, Boo's afraid of him. Did you guys see those bubbles? I don't know what this stuff is made out of. It's not as bubbly as like your typical bubbles are because I hope it's not made out of soap. Boo's afraid of these bubbles, so um, I'll go try them with the downstairs cat. I'm downstairs now and I am trying to play with the cats with these catnip bubbles and I'm having two issues. The first issue is that these bubbles are hard to blow. Um, you know, you fill up the wand with the solution and then you blow and then it doesn't make any bubbles. And um, the other thing is when I do blow some bubbles, um, the cats are afraid of it. Well, Simba ran away and Splash ran away and I guess Stella smells catnip. So let me try one more time while she's laying here. Let me see if I can blow some bubbles. She'll probably run. Let's just see that. Here's another. Okay, these bubbles are really hard to blow. Um, maybe I'll try them um, some other time. I am here with Boo and my beautiful new box cutter. And we are just about to open some mail. It is mail time. We are going to open some more packages today. Let's start with this one because this one is making a lot of noise.
this box cutter works so well. I mean, it cuts like butter. So this is what is making the noise. Check it out. There's three balls on it. It is a Pet Stages Tower of Tracks stacked PlayStation perfect for one or more cats. I think the cats are going to love this. Yeah, Boo's going to love that. They're all going to love that because they love those toys. We also got a case of Duracell batteries. These are double A batteries. That is great. So I guess this is a four pack of double A batteries. And then there are six packs of four batteries in here. That is totally going to come in handy. Question is, who is this from? It says, hi Lucky, I know that batteries will always come in handy from Smarty Plum and Cheese Puff. Thank you, Smarty Plum and Cheese Puff. Uh, they most definitely will. This says, hi Lucky, just a little toy for the cats for Christmas. I know how they love balls from Smarty Plum and Cheese Puff. Boo is already having fun with this toy and I'm sure the other cats um, are going to have just as much fun with it. So thank you very much for sending this for them. Okay, what's in here? This is a heavy box. This box cutter is really sharp. We have a bag of Nature's Variety Instinct Original Dry Food. This is grain-free recipe with real duck uh, for cats of all life stages this is what the cats love eating so that's awesome because i am halfway through my last bag of this and uh, i definitely need more for them we also got a frankincense and myrrh zoom bar i love this smell so much and stella also loves it and um, she's going to enjoy uh, smelling soap and uh, this is great because uh, one bar of this will last me about three or four weeks. So uh, now I have uh, a, a good supply. This says, Hi Lucky Ferrells, Merry Christmas, and a Happy Healthy New Year from Wilson Mathias. Thank you very much, Wilson Mathias. That was very nice of you to send these presents for the cats. It says, hi Lucky, enjoy your gift from Paul Ryder. Note, pure essential oils are irritating to the skin. Health and happiness to you and your families. Let's see, what do we have here? Oh, it's taped. Oh, wow. We have a bottle of sun essential oils. This is myrrh essential oil. This is great. I haven't had myrrh oil in quite some time. I can't wait to smell it. Um, the last time I had myrrh oil, um, it got kind of funky and the cap uh, became impossible to get off of the bottle. Um, and it was a much smaller bottle, and um, it does smell amazing. And I was using it to make um, like room sprays with it, and also, oh, and this comes with the dropper. And also, um, I was using it in a like aromatherapy diffuser. That smells lovely. 
Oh wow, and here we have the frankincense oil. It is Majestic Pure Cosmeceuticals Frankincense Essential Oil 100% Pure Natural Therapeutic Grade. Recommended for external use only. Avoid contact with eyes. Keep out of the reach of children. For topical application, carefully dilute with a carrier oil such as fractionated coconut, jojoba, or almond. Store in a cool place in closed container. That is great. I am currently about halfway through a small bottle of frankincense oil because I always, always, always have frankincense oil in my house. And um, this will be great um, for when I'm done with that bottle. I'm gonna smell it. Ah, it smells so, so good. Um, there are two things that I really love using the frankincense oil for. One thing is that it's really good for removing like negativity and negative vibes. Um, if you ever like have a meeting with a person who's just, um, just very, very negative, um, I always um, like to keep a frankincense spray. I just buy like a little, one of those little uh, glass spray bottles and I fill it up with water and I put a few drops of frankincense in and I put a few drops of sage in there and then you mix it up and then you just spray like, um, you could spray yourself, you could spray like the room and it definitely clears the atmosphere. Same thing um, for like in your house, like if, um, if someone has a fight in your house or um, if there's just some kind of negative energy, um, you could uh, spray it down with frankincense and that definitely changes the atmosphere. Another great thing is when I'm traveling, I always carry, again, a little room spray with me. And when I check into a hotel room, the first thing I do is I usually spray the room with the frankincense and sage and lavender. I use those three, I usually mix them together and make a room spray and it just totally, um, makes the room way more comfortable. But lastly, um, what frankincense is really, really good for is uh, helping someone get to sleep. So if I go to sleep, usually I fall asleep right away because I'm exhausted. But if I ever wake up in the middle of the night and I'm tossing and turning and can't get back to sleep, what I do is I take um, frankincense oil. Um, usually it is mixed with a carrier oil. I have it in like a little uh, bottle. And what you do is you put the frankincense under your feet. You put it on like the soles of your feet. You put it like on your temples. Um, you might put a little bit like under your nose. So you get the aromatherapy. And usually, I would say for me, 90% of the time, it I end up falling right asleep because it just has that effect. Um, so this is a really great uh, multi-purpose essential oil. Thank you, Paul Ryder, for this awesome gift that I will enjoy and the cats will enjoy. Okay, what's in here? Guys, look! All of the cats now have their own Wiggly Worm chew toys. Every cat has one. Stella, Splash, Simba, Boo. And I opened a Wiggly Worm yesterday, and that can be for Hydrox. So they all have Wiggly Worms. This is Hi Lucky, Happy Holidays from Lisa Havacost and family. Thank you so much, Lisa. That is so nice of you to send these Wiggly Worms for the cats. Boo has been sitting here in the scratch and roll and watching me open these packages. Boo! Look at me here. Yeah. Boo, look at me. Right here. Boo! Look at the birdie. Okay, let's do one more box and then I'll do some more mail time tomorrow.
We have Blue Wilderness Dry Food for the Cats. This is 100% grain free. This is Nature's Evolutionary Diet with Chicken and Life Source Bits uh, Adult Formula. This is a 12 pound bag. This is awesome. Um, again, I am at the like bottom of one of these bags right now. Um, they love this food along with the uh, Nature's Variety food. These are their two favorite dry foods. See, look, Boo's already trying to get in the bag. Look, he's already, he smells it through the bag. It says, hi, Lucky. They all like it, so here's some more so they can crunch to their heart's content. Love to see them enjoying their chow. Bad Billy. Thank you so much, Bad Billy, for sending them this dry food. They really love it. As you can see, Boo's already trying to break into the bag. And um, I, uh, I like feeding it to them because uh, it has some all-natural ingredients. So thank you so much for hooking them up. I was wondering if like the bag is open or something because Boo looks like he's ready to break into it. I just snuck some treats to splash under the trampoline. And the treat thief struck again. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Pharaohs. 7.54 a.m. Boo's on a scratch and roll. He uh, jumped on my bed to wake me up. He had free roam all night. He mostly slept on the cat tower in the living room. Would you like some breakfast, Boo? Yeah? Okay. This is what is left of his dinner. He pretty much ate everything. He just left like half of that primal raw turkey nugget. I don't know what he was doing here in his room, but I have these like uh, fleece cloths up here uh, to make it soft for him to lay on. And they're, they're all kind of disheveled. Boo is getting his breakfast. It is the Nature's Variety Instinct Raw Bites with his herbs, um, some of the cat grass powder and some water. So far this grass has lasted 11 days. Today would be day 11. And it's looking really scraggly. I'd like to get several more days out of it. But Simba still enjoys it. Good morning, Splash. Good morning. Still is waiting by the food dish. Hello, Stella. We're going to have breakfast. Stella, you're a pretty girl. You're a pretty girl. 8.55 a.m. I just gave Stella some dry food in the cat at Digger because I was in the kitchen and I was finishing my breakfast. And Stella was like staring at me, staring at me, staring at me. And then she came and she's like rubbing all up against me. 
So I was hanging out with Stella for a little while. I gave her some dry food in the kitchen, but she didn't want to eat it in the kitchen. I gave her like half a tablespoon. So then I said, okay, Stella, you want to go downstairs? Well, the minute we walk downstairs, Simba comes running all the way from the living room to follow us. So I waited a while downstairs, and I was like patting Stella, patting Stella, just to see what Simba would do. Like, would he go away or what? Because I knew if I gave her dry food, he would kind of eat it on her. So uh, eventually he didn't go away. So then I said, okay, Stella, I'll give you some dry food in the cat at, in the cat at Digger. Um, and that's what I did. And sure enough, Simba has to come and eat it with her. But this is why Stella gets annoyed at him. Because anytime I try to have one-on-one -on -one time with Stella, Simba has to kind of butt in. Like if I want to give Stella some treats for girl time, Simba will literally come running from the other side of the house to bust in and eat some treats also. So that's why Stella gets annoyed because she can't have any like one-on-one -on -one time with me because Simba always has to bust in. Right now, Stella would be totally happy to have this cat at Digger all to herself so she could eat all the treats she wants. But Simba's there. Now, I can pick Simba up and bring him upstairs, which is probably what I'm going to do. But maybe Simba's just always hungry. I mean, he is the lightest of the cats. He weighs the least of all of them. Maybe he just has a higher metabolism. I mean, he also is the most active of the cats. He's the most active of the cats. And he eats the most, probably. Although maybe he doesn't. Maybe he doesn't eat as much dinner as Stella does. I mean, Stella's going back to the food now. It is 11 a.m. Hydrox is sitting on the patio chair. It's a little bit warmer today. It is just about 40 degrees out. I'm giving Hydrox some food. This is what his feeder looks like. Now, I gave him breakfast yesterday but I did not have a chance to um, give him dinner uh, later in the evening because I didn't get home until like 8.30, 9 o'clock and it was already dark and cold and I had the gates up uh, between the downstairs and the upstairs and I did not have a chance to come outside and give Hydrox food. I don't really like feeding him when it's dark out, but he did have dry food in the feeder yesterday afternoon around 4 p.m. So right now I am going to rinse these out and then give him new water and fresh food. And as I am talking to you guys, Hydrox is still on the chair. He's only like three or four feet away from me. He's not moving. He's just looking at me, waiting for his food. Okay, I just gave him the can of food and I gave him some water and I always add some water to the food because this is a heated uh, thermo kitty cafe and uh, the food will dry out if you don't add a little bit of water to it and over time the water will evaporate out of the water section. Hydrox is still sitting here. Hello, Hydrox. He has not meowed, so that makes me think he's not hungry. He's been eating out of the feeder. Should have given him breakfast today. You good boy, Hydrox. I just fed the cats. They're getting their primal raw turkey nuggets, nature's variety instinct chicken bites, and um, I don't know why Stella's not eating it. I've been petting them. I'm trying to make a conscious effort to uh, give them some attention before they eat. So I spent about five minutes like petting Stella and petting Splash. Splash is right here. And Simba's digging in. Now I'm going to go upstairs and give Boo his food. Hello, Boo. How are you today? Did you have a nice day? Want to come up? I'm sitting on the day bed in his room. He did not eat half of his breakfast. I don't know why. He did have some dry food. Um, I put a little bit of dry food in his feeder and uh, some freeze dried raw. It is day 20 on the advent calendar for the cats. What did they get? Boo, what did you get today? What'd you get today, Boo? You want to open your little bag? What'd you get?
You want your advent? You want, to, you want to pose? Are you going to pose today? Nope. He doesn't like posing. You got Buddy Biscuits. Grain-free cat treats with tender chicken. You think you'll like those? What's in them? The ingredients. Chicken, chickpea flour, potato flour, maple syrup, tapioca starch, vegetable glycerin, gelatin, natural flavor, salt, phosphoric acid. You're my way, boo. I can't read. Sorbic acid, a preservative, citric acid, mixed to cough rolls, and rosemary. Let's see if he likes them. This is what they look like. They look like little pellets. Like they're a little round, soft, well, like semi-soft treats. To me, these kind of look like dog training treats. Maybe these are good cat training treats. Oh, who loves them? He just ate all of them. Well, he only had like four. There's a few more. You don't want those? Here. That's it. He's not getting any more. If he eats those, that's it. Okay, so these treats are boo approved. Let's see what the other cats think about them. Okay, let's see if they like the new treats. There's two for Simba here, Stella. And Splash just came out looking for his treats. I gave Splash two treats. You guys got your treats? Okay, be nice. No fighting over treats. There's enough for everybody. I just threw one to Splash. The one thing I'm really not a big fan of is um, like chickpea flour in um, cat food or cat treats. I'm really not a fan of um, like bean flours. I don't really mind pea flour as much, like green pea flour, but I'm not a fan of chickpea flour. And that's what's in here, so hopefully it's not going to uh, mess up their digestion at all. Okay, Stella, one more and then you're done. One more. There you go. I just snuck some treats to splash under the trampoline. And the treat thief struck again. It is mail time. This is what we will be opening today. This says calendars.com, the best selection of calendars in the known universe. Do you think this is a calendar? It says lucky black cats calendar 2018. That's really cute. Let's take a look at it. Is good luck. Here we have January 2018. Look at the family of black cats. Look how cute. And we have February. It says jolly good luck. All the best in many ways. Good fortune, health, and lucky days. That's so cute. That's like, you know, some vintage art. Here's March. 
It looks like a vintage lithograph. And here's April. Really cute. That looks like a vintage greeting card. And here we have May. Good luck and may you bear a charmed life to the very tail end. I love these vintage graphics. This is June. Pretty black cat. Here's July. The four little black cats with their balloons. Here's August. Good luck. Here's all the good wishes a card can express. Good health and glad tidings. Good luck and success. That's obviously a vintage greeting card, but that's really... Okay, that sounded like someone's in the Christmas tree. It was just Stella walking around underneath it. Here's September. It kind of reminds me of like Boo and Stella, although Stella looks different than that. But that's like, I always used to see them together. And then here's October. May good luck never turn its back on you. November, a good luck postcard. And December, a Merry Christmas, many years and many joys. May there be to you kindly friends and merry hours, luck in all you do. This is really cool. See, black cats are definitely good luck. I don't know how they got the uh, reputation of being bad luck. Oh, and then look, check it out. And this is an easel, so it stands on a desk like that. So that will be great. I'm actually probably going to take this into my office and put it on my desk. With the frankincense and myrrh candle that Lisa McGovern gave me, um, I burn that on my desk in my office also. So that'll be awesome. And I believe this is from J Red. So thank you very much, J Red. That was very thoughtful of you. I'm going to enjoy this all year. This says, hi, Lucky, you should receive a gift for yourself that Amazon wouldn't allow a gift tag on from the Havocos family. Well, thank you so much. And look what we have here. We have fish for the cats. These are so cute. These are catnip toys. And look, look how big they are. Oh, my God, they're going to go crazy over these toys. Simba's already looking. Hello, Simba. Simba's my helper today. But they're not getting those yet. But thank you so much for these. I'm sure the cats are going to enjoy playing with them. What do we have here? This says Emore's Cat Catnip Toy 10-piece Set. Okay, what does this say? This says Emore's Cat Catnip Stick Organic Silver Vine Teeth Grinding Chew Toy 10-piece set. Oh my gosh. You know who's going to love this? I think we all know who's going to love this. Simba's going to go crazy over these. Wow. I mean, they all love like meaty sticks. And Simba loves any kind of like chew toy. This is great. I've never even seen these before. I didn't even know they existed. And I also don't know who sent this because it doesn't say there's no note. So whoever sent this, thank you very, very much. This will be really interesting to see how the cats like these. This says, hi, Lucky. Happy holidays. Hope the kitties enjoy from the Havocos family. And here are two more of these amazing catnip toys. Oh my gosh, they look so good. I think the cats are going to enjoy them, but I hope it's not catnip overload like last time. That's why. But uh, these are so cute. Thank you so much, uh, the Cost family. It was really nice of you to send these. This says Lucky Farrell's mom. 
That's pretty. It says, Dear Lucky Farrell's mom, I'm sending you a small gift from Italy. Wow, Italy. When I saw it, I immediately thought to boo. I enjoy your videos. One of the first things I do when I wake up is looking to your new video showing the program of the Lucky Farrell's family. Thank you for the great job you are doing with the cats. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Elena Velosis. I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name. Well, that's so nice. Thank you so much. It looks like we have some photos here. Look at this cute kitty. Oh, look how cute. What a pretty cat, right? It says, here you find also some pictures of my cat called Signorina Mauve. When I found her, when I found her was very skinny, pregnant, wandering the streets alone. Oh, look, it's a rescue. She rescued this cat. She looks so healthy and happy now, right? Signorina Mauve. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong also. What a pretty cat. Do I, do I tear it? Can I just tear it? Oh my gosh, look. Check that out. That is so cool. This is like a leather keychain or a, a purse charm. Um, or basically I could hang it on anything that I want. That is so cute. I'm going to put this on my bag. That's adorable. It does. It looks just like Boo. Thank you so much. That is, um, oh, it says made in Italy. That is really, really cute. And it does look like Boo. Thank you. Okay, let's move on to some cards. What do we have here? Oh my gosh, that's so funny. That looks like Simba on that stocking. Look how cute. It says... May your stocking runneth over. Merry Christmas from Lisa, Sheba, and Muffy. Thank you so much, guys. That is such a cute card. What's in it? Oh, wow. $25 to Panera. That is so great. What is this? And PetSmart. $50 to PetSmart. Do you see it's one of those like animated cards? So cute. Thank you so much, Lisa, Sheba, and Muffy. That is just really, really nice of you. And I totally appreciate the gift cards. And they will definitely, definitely be put to good use. I hope you guys are having a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year also. Here we have another card. It says, Christmas is in the air. It says, Dear Ms. LF, I start every morning by turning on your channel. A positive and fun way to begin the day. Keep up the great work you are doing. Have a very Merry Christmas with your wonderful kitty family. P.S. My on-screen name is Love to Cook. Love your channel. All the best from a viewer in Las Vegas, Nevada. It says, may the spirit of love surround you and Lucky Farrells this Christmas and always. Thank you so much. And she sent $10 for the cats. Now you're going to have a good time with that $10. That'll definitely help pay for some food for them. Thank you so much um, for this lovely card and um, also the donation. And here we have another card. It's another cat card. Look how cute. It says, get this cap off before I shred it. Enough with the catnip. That tree is going down. That looks like Simba. And I have not even had a chance to put him into any Santa's hats or anything this year. It says, hope 
the holidays bring out the very best in you. Merry Christmas. Lisa, Sheba, Muffy, and Tony, my dad. Well, thank you so much, Lisa, Sheba, Muffy, and Tony. What do we have here? It's a magnet. It says, it says, in a perfect world, every cat would have a home and every home would have a cat. There's a little black cat on it that looks like Boo. That is so nice. It's so adorable. And here's the magnets and it's natural life. Actually, look, it has like a little easel. So um, you could like stand it up on a desk or you could put it on like a refrigerator with the magnets. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I might want to put this on my desk at work. Um, that would look really cute with the calendar. Thank you so much, uh, Lisa, Sheba, Muffy, and Tony. That was really, really nice of you. Very thoughtful. And then we have another card. Look how cute. This says, peace, love, joy, best wishes from community cats. And this is Grace. Baron and Fig from the Community Cats channel. That is such a cute card. It looks so festive with the decorations. Those kittens are getting so big too. Ah! Hello Simba. What are you doing? Don't fall. Don't fall down the steps. How am I supposed to walk down the steps, Simba, when you're stretched out all over them? Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo, the Lucky Pharaohs. 9 a.m. Splash is outside of Boo's door. There's been a lot of cat chattering this morning. Last night, I put Boo in his room, I put the gates up, and I let the other cats have free roam. And when I do that, it's like Simba and Splash just make a direct line for Boo's door. And they kind of plant themselves where Splash is right now. They were there for quite a while last night. There's Boo. Hey, Simba. You friends with Boo? Are you friends? Simba, are you friends with Boo? Go touch noses. Good morning, Boo. Good morning, Boo. Hello, Simba. Good morning, Boo. Are we friends with Simba? Boo, are we friends with Simba? He's looking at him like, how dare you pet him? Are you guys friends? Touch noses. Simba, touch noses with Boo. Go touch his nose. Simba. Go touch noses with Boo right here. Give him a kiss. Go give give Boo a kiss. Give him a kiss. See, Simba would do it. Simba would do it, but Boo, give Simba a kiss. Boo, kiss Simba. Go give him a kiss. Go ahead. You could do it. Rub his nose near. Rub his nose. Touch noses right here. Well, right now the two of them are sitting here pretty nice, but Boo has a look on his face like he's ready to it. Kind of jump on him. The grass is starting to look pretty gnarly. Still is done. Boo ate all of his dinner last night. He doesn't eat it right away, but he eventually eats it. And he also ate a little bit of dry food that the feeder dispenses for him. So what I have going on with this automatic feeder right now is I have a little bit of dry food set um, for twice a day. I think it's for 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. Um, 
And I'm doing that because he needs to learn how to eat out of this automated feeder. And he is the most motivated to eat dry food. So it looks like if I do that, then he'll actually eat out of the dry food. And what, what I want to do is kind of just get him used to the idea of eating out of this because when I'm away for Christmas, I'll be gone for, I don't know, maybe like 48 hours. And um, he'll be served his meals on this. I just gave Boo his breakfast. He is getting the Nature's Variety Instinct Rob Bites with his herbs and some water. 10.52 a.m. I'm trying to get dressed and Boo's laying on my bed. Hey, Boo. He's laying on top of my tablet and some work documents. It is 11.40 a.m. I'm outside. I'm giving Hydrax some food. He's getting half a can of this Nature's Variety Pride by Instinct just because I think that's what he's going to eat. He's not meowing at me right now, which makes me assume that he's been eating the dry food out of the feeder um, because it has been dispensing in the morning and also about 4 p.m. And so he has fresh water, um, he has food, there's a little bit of water in the food. And there's Hydrox, can you see him? There he is, he's on the other side of the patio furniture, he's just hanging out. And again, he's not meowing at me because he's probably not as hungry as he normally is when he's meowing at me. Remember, he was meowing at me a lot when the feeder was not dispensing food. I thought it was, but it wasn't, so... Right now he's very content. The sun is out today, so he will be able to sit in the sun and enjoy himself. And there's Hydrox. He walked over to the food to eat it. 12.14 p.m. Simba's sunning himself by the back door. Hello, Simba. It is super warm in this spot right now. All three feeders have just been set up for their dinner. They are supposed to dispense food at 7 p.m. tonight because I will not be back home until much later than that. I've put a half tablespoon of dry food in these feeders. And I want to tell you guys something that is really weird that just happened. So I came downstairs with the raw food to put it in the feeders. And as I'm just kind of here putting the food in the feeders, I hear like a cat rummaging around in the room to the right of me. And that's where the litter boxes are. And I said to myself, oh, Splash must be in the bathroom. He must be, like, using the litter or something because it didn't sound like a cat was scratching litter. It sounded like a cat was just, like, moving around, like, amongst the litter boxes or there's, like, you know, some boxes of cat litter and some cat supplies and stuff in there. And um, that's what I thought because Simba and Stella were out here with me. But then when I went into the room to look, there are no cats in that room, and Splash is completely on the other side of this room down here. It is the weirdest thing, and it's really starting to make me think that I might have some kind of spirit cats with me. I mean, that's the first thing that Sonia said when I talked to her on the phone. The first thing she said was that I have two cats in spirit with me, the cats that I grew up with, and... I was, you know, that's not why I was calling her at all because I wanted to get some insight and information to these cats. But um, between the noise upstairs, like um, where the tree was and before the tree was there and the noise that I just heard down here, I don't know what the heck it is. And I know some people have been saying maybe it's a mouse. And I don't know how long like a mouse would last in this house with four cats in this house. I mean, I, these cats are pretty avid hunters, so if it was something like that, I really think they would go after it. See, there's Splash. He's all the way across the room, sitting on the ottoman. So this is going to be Boo's dinner setup. We have raw food with a little bit of crunchies. And there's still some crunchies here. That'll be like breakfast and then dinner tomorrow, because it's set to dispense twice a day. So he should like that. Hopefully, maybe the crunchies will entice him to eat the rest. It is about 26 degrees out right now. It is 10.20 p.m. I'm just getting home. And here's Hydrox. He greeted me by coming out of his little cat house. So I guess he's hungry. I'm going to give him some dry food in the Thermo Kitty Cafe. There he is. He's just sitting there looking at me. 
Hello, Hydrox. How are you, Hydrox? Are you hungry? Would you like some food? Are you cold? Going back in your house. Go back in your house, Hydrox. I just came inside and there he goes. He walked over to the food bowl. He's gonna eat his food. So the dispenser dispensed dry food at 4 p.m. Or at least it was supposed to dispense dry food at 4 p.m. And um, right now it's about 10.20. So that was about six hours ago. Hello, Simba. What are you doing? Don't fall. Don't fall down the steps. How am I supposed to walk down the steps, Simba, when you're stretched out all over them? Huh? What am I supposed to do? Okay, you're going to move? Okay, good boy. Well, let's see what the cats did with their dinner. So these dispensers dispensed dinner for them at 7 p.m., and as you can see, they ate some of their dinner. They ate about half of this one. They ate most of this one, and they ate most of that one. So they still have a little bit of their raw food left. And I'm glad the feeders worked, and I am glad they ate their food. There's Boo. He's in his room. But Splash is also wandering around the house, so I can't take Boo out right just yet. It is day 21 on the cat's advent calendar. What did they get? They got Natural Balance Wild Pursuit. This is salmon, herring, and walleye formula. High protein, grain free, cat food. Let's look at the ingredients. It is salmon, fish broth, herring, brewer's dried yeast, pea protein, walleye, white fish, dried egg, dried beet pulp, canola oil, tapioca starch, dried garbanzo beans, dried peas, pea flour, pea fiber, guara gum, and then a bunch of vitamins and minerals. Let's see if the cats like it. This is what it looks like. It looks like a, a thick pate. So I've put a uh, booze portion on a little paper plate. And I have to say, it does not really smell like fish as much as beans. It has, to me, it smells like, more like garbanzo beans. Like, have you ever had roasted chickpeas, the kind that are, like, crunchy, that you eat like popcorn? That's what this smells like to me, which is kind of weird considering how much fish is in here. But you want to try some of the food? Want to try some of it? Boo finished all of his dinner. Is Boo going to eat it? Okay, let's see if Stella and Simba will eat up. Simba, eat your food. Eat it. Go ahead. You could eat it. Eat it. Stella seems to be enjoying it. Simba, eat it. Splash has been laying on the couch, so I just gave him his portion on the couch. I mean, it's really ridiculous for me to keep giving him his meals in bed like this. Talk about a spoiled cat. For some reason, Simba does not like this one. Like, he doesn't want to eat his portion, and he doesn't have any desire to steal anyone else's portion. He doesn't like it. Splash seems to like it. 
Look at this. Oh no, Stella's just pushing it around. And the Ashton Bussin, but doesn't care. So that's what Stella ate. She ate like half of each portion. She left like a little bit. And uh, Splash just tasted his. I put his back down here. Good girl, Stella. Good girl. Did you like that? Simba's eating Splash's portion. I guess Simba changed his mind or else he just waited for everyone else to eat theirs. Maybe he's being a good boy today. Can you guys see that? I don't even know if it's in focus on the camera. It's just sitting there. Why is there a possum? And I'm a, I guess that's a possum, and I hope it's not like a giant rat. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. 8.37 a.m. I got home really, really late last night, and then I had computer problems. I could not post a video, so I said, let me wake up today and work on a video. So I woke up about 10 minutes ago, and I put my computer on, and I'm gonna work on a video, and then I hear a cat fight. Like a cat fight, like a Boo Hydrox outside cat fight, and I'm like, what the hell's going on? Because it sounded like it was coming from downstairs. So I looked at the security camera footage, and sure enough, it was Simba and Stella in a really bad fight. These two are looking very uncomfortable around each other, like they don't even want to be near each other. Now, I gave them food last night when I got home. I gave them a whole bunch of dry food. They had food in the automatic feeders last night for dinner. And right now I'm defrosting some raw food because I forgot to put raw food out for this morning. But there's no reason for them to fight like that. I've never heard them fight like that. Ever, ever, ever. And poor Splash, he's all upset by it. These are the Nature's Variety Instinct Raw Chicken Bites that the cats are going to eat for their breakfast. I'm trying a quicker defrost method. I have this um, sheet pan which I first ran under hot water to heat it up and then I put um, their frozen food on it and right now um, I don't know let's say it's about a half hour 45 minutes later the fruit's defrosted and it's still cold um, but it is defrosted so let me portion out Boo's part and then their part and give it to them. They could eat it if they want to. If not, they could just wait on it. It is 8 p.m. And I just got home. And uh, I have been running around all day. And I just got back and the cats are just about to eat their dinner. And I'm realizing that this is the first holiday season with four cats in this house. Last year at this time, the cats came in occasionally, like if it was snowing or super cold, but they were living outside. They did not start uh, living inside until after the holidays. I believe it was December 29th when I first noticed signs of Stella being in heat for the first time. And from that time on, she has been an indoor girl. So um, this has been a season of adjustment for them, for me, for the entire holiday routine. I'm 
thinking to myself, like, how is it that, like, I don't have time uh, to do so many things that I usually do? It's because I now have four cats in this house that I did not have last year. Right, guys? And you like being inside, right? You guys have a good time, right? Because it's warm and it's dry. And you guys get all kinds of good food and toys and treats. Right, guys? Can you believe it's almost been a whole year since you've been inside? They just want to eat. Today they are eating on their Merry Christmas platter. This is actually a paper platter. I believe I have one pack of these. I think it's like a pack of 10 or 12. Um, so from now until Christmas, they'll be eating on these festive Merry Christmas platters. And here's their food on the Merry Christmas platter. They're getting the Nature's Variety Instinct Raw Bites. Okay, let's look at Boo's food. He did not eat hardly any of his breakfast. What happened to you, Boo? What's the matter? This is expensive food. Why are you not eating it? There's his dry food in the automated feeder. He has some crunchies. Looks like he ate some of them. Boo, how come you did not eat your food? Sometimes I think Boo doesn't eat when he's kind of uh, depressed or mopey. Like, he was in his room all day today with the door shut. Again, just because it was a very hectic morning. And I'm thinking maybe he wasn't happy about it. So when he sleeps or mopes, he doesn't eat. And I really don't want to waste that raw food by throwing it out, so I think what I might do is go put it outside in Hydrox's bowl and see if he wants to eat it. I didn't see him when I got home, and um, maybe he'd eat it. If he doesn't eat it, I'm sure one of the other animals outside will eat it. I just gave him his new bowl of food, and uh, he's eating his crunchies. Okay, I don't know what the heck just happened. But I went outside to put the food in Hydrox's kitty cafe. You see it there? It was more under the table. And I went to uh, drag it out. And all of a sudden I heard like an animal in the feeder. Like something was like really, really moving around and everything. And I said, oh my God, this thing's going to attack me. So right away I just like backed away and walked toward the stairs. But I don't see anything. Like I don't see anything at all. But then I heard some kind of movement in there again. So I don't know what the heck is in there, but whatever it is, it's still in there because I have not seen it come out from there. And um, I have no clue what it is. I don't have a camera on the patio right now, so I have no idea. And it's just so weird because like I pulled the kitty cafe out and um, whatever it was did not run. Whatever it was should still be in there eating. Like I want to go in and get a flashlight, but I don't know, it's just like really freaky. Like what the heck is that? Guys, there is a possum jammed up in that feeder. Oh my God. Can you see it in there? Can you see that possum? I don't know what it's doing. It's just like there. I hope it's not stuck. Oh my god. This is so disgusting. Like, what the hell is it doing? Can you guys see that? I don't even know if it's in focus on the camera. It's just sitting there. Why is there a possum? And I'm a. I guess that's a possum, and I hope it's not like a giant rat. It's probably a possum. What is it doing? I'm sorry the camera's shaky. I got the flashlight in the left hand, the camera in the right hand. I'm trying to watch the possum. I'm trying to balance on this step. Oh my God. It's a few minutes later and I just put the leftover raw food on the patio. I put it on a paper plate. And what's bothering me is that the possum is still in there. I don't know if it's just 
like playing dead, but I hope it's not really dead in there because it's not moving at all. Do you see it? Like, I hope it didn't like freak out and hurt itself. And now I have a dead possum in the feeder because it is not moving. And I don't even know like where it was trying to go. Maybe like to the side of that blue container and the wall. I don't know what the hell it did. I don't know what it did. But look, it is not moving. This is day 22 on the cat's advent calendar. What did they get? Let's see what they got today. Uh-oh, it's not coming out of the bag. What could it be? What is it, boo? What could it be? You wanna help get it out? Can you get it? Can you get it out of the bag? You wanna try? Go ahead. See if you could do it. Maybe you could do it. I couldn't get it out. What's in there? What's in the bag? You just want to eat the tag? What's in the bag, boo? Want to get it out? What's in there? What's in there, boo? Okay, let's see what they got. I'm going to have to pull it out. Oh, they got... They got shiny toys. Look, boo, you can't have all of them. You could have one. You want that one? You could have that one, boo. That's the only one you could have. Want it? As far as I know, there's no catnip on these. Whoa. Can I play with it, Boo? Can I play with it too? Or are you gonna just hold on to it? If I try to get that away from him, he's not gonna like it. I need that extendable rake right now. That's what I need. Do you like your toy, Boo? Do you like it? Oh, that's the camera boo. Want to post? Here is the day 22 advent treat bag. Do you think the cats are gonna like their toys? What'd you guys get? What is it, Stella? What is it? They should like them more splash. It's 
Stella likes anything that goes under a scratch and roll. Where'd it go, Stella? Oh, and she got a mouse out, too. Simba, ready to catch it? You gonna catch it? Ready? Ready? Simba, you gonna catch it? You didn't catch it. Okay, Stella, ready? I put it under there. Is she gonna get it? She's looking at Simba. Something here, Stella, look. Look. I put a bunch of toys under that Ikea bed because I know Stella likes to dig toys out from under things. She might flip the scratch and roll. Sometimes, you know, when she's looking for toys underneath them, she moves them. And she got the mouse out. And she got the other mouse out. See the mouse in the circuit. Okay, this is how Simba likes to play. Ready? Watch. He likes it like when you throw it. Here. Maybe not. Hello, Stella. How are you, Stella? You like laying under the tree? Do you like laying under the tree? I think it makes Stella feel like she's outside. Do you like the tree, Stella? Okay, I have no idea what time it is, maybe like 1.30 in the morning, but you guys just missed it. Um, Boo's in his room on the other side of the gate, and Simba's on this side of the gate, and Splash is about three feet down the hallway, and they were all just eating treats together. I would give Boo a treat, then Simba a treat, and they ate it literally like right next to each other on both sides of the gate, no hissing, no growling, nothing, and then... I tossed one to Splash a few feet away and he ate his. It was like really cute and I did not want to ruin the moment by grabbing the camera. So I am just documenting it now. So there's Splash, that's where he was. And I would just toss him a treat. Simba was closer to the gate and um, he was right there. That's where he was also. Now, Simba and Splash have been growling at Boo tonight. Um, they've been making weird cat noises at Boo. I mean, I don't know. I have no idea what's going on. But um, Boo's been acting weird also. Boo's kind of been um, jumping at the gate and jumping all around his room and acting silly. And um, it's really interesting to watch. <laughs> Thank you.
I'm gonna take a picture, wanna pose? Yeah. Pose with the treats, look at me. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. 9.30 a.m. I'm just getting up. So good morning, Boo. Today, Stella jumped on my bed about two or three times to wake me up. Simba jumped on the bed twice. Splash came into the bedroom. And they've also been hanging out with Boo here near his door. There's only been a little bit of growling and hissing this morning. This is the end of this grungy wheatgrass. I mean, half of it has already turned like yellowish brown and it's gotten really thin, but they still want some, so I'll give it to them. But I bought new wheatgrass yesterday. And the question is, where is it? I really hope there's not a dead possum in the automatic feeder housing. They did not finish all of that canned food last night, so that was not a hit with them. They ate some of it, but when they really lick it, they like lick it clean. The cats are getting their breakfast on their beautiful Christmas platter. It is an anchor's variety of sink raw chicken bites. And I'm thinking I should put some water in there. It's 11.09 a.m. and right now Stella and Boo both ate treats on either side of the gate right near each other. There was no hissing, no growling, no poking each other. It went really well. I only had a few treats each. I was finishing a little bag of natural treats for them. Um, but I was happy with that. It is 12.30 p.m. It is about 34 degrees out. It's just about freezing, um, thankfully, because otherwise this rain would be snow. And I'm going to put some food out in the feeder for Hydrox. I've been hoping that the rain would stop for a little while, but it hasn't, and it doesn't look like it's going to be stopping. I am completely dreading going outside after seeing that immobile possum in the feeder housing last night. I am hoping very much that it was only playing dead because possums do play dead and that when I go outside there will be no possum in the feeder housing because if there is a possum in the feeder housing like still stuck there not moving it's most likely dead because they say they can play dead for up to four hours in which case it should be gone. But if it's still there, I have no idea how that thing is getting out. I just replaced the water and I put a full can of the Nature's Variety Pride uh, chicken food in uh, this section. I added some water and I'm going to slide it under the table. And from what I can see here, there does not appear to be a possum in the feeder anymore. I'm gonna go get a flashlight just to be sure. Okay, I just checked the feeder. I looked in it with a flashlight from both sides and there's no possum, so at least I could breathe a little bit easier. But I still need to um, take the roof off the feeder and make sure there's enough dry food for the next several days. But I'm not gonna do that. I could do that tomorrow. So I'm gonna go see what the weather report is and when there's gonna be a break in this rain. Hopefully it's not gonna rain straight through tonight and all the way through tomorrow. Today is day 23 for the cat's advent calendar and this is their little gift bag. What did they get? Boo's standing about a foot away from me. Oh, there he is. What'd you get, Boo? You gonna open it? Do you wanna open it? Wanna open the bag? You gonna open it, Boo? What is it? What is it? Oh, 
Oh, he just wants to hold it. Look at that. He just wants to hold it. Come on. Okay. Let's see what they got. <gasps> what is it, Bill? What'd you get? They got Blue Wilderness Cat Treats. This is trout flavor. It says crunchy treats cats crave. These are 100% grain free. It says, inspired by the lynx, a carnivore who thrives on meat, wilderness crunchy cat treats provide a delicious taste in a crunchy treat that cats crave. 100% grain free. Wilderness crunchy cat treats feature the finest natural ingredients and never contain any chicken or poultry. Byproduct meals, corn, wheat, or soy, or artificial preservatives, colors, or flavors. Blue Wilderness Crunchy Cat Treats are the perfect way to cater to your cat's wild side. Ingredients. Trout, chicken meal, potato starch, peas, brewer's dried yeast, chicken fat, natural flavor, citric acid, potassium chloride, preserved with mixed tocopherols, oil of rosemary. Ooh, you want to try these? Want to try the treats? Want to take a picture? Want to pose? Yeah. Pose with the treats. Look at me. So this is what the treats look like. They kind of look like temptations. Those like little puffy pillows. And as you can see, Boo likes them. They are Boo approved. Want more? Want more Boo? Boo thinks they're yummy. Okay, Boo, a few more and then that's it. No more after this. I don't want to give you too many. I'll give you some more later, okay? Right now we're just filming a taste test. Okay, good boy. Boo inhaled those. Let's talk about these green rugs. I got these green rugs at Costco. They were a really good deal. I forget how much they were, but they were inexpensive. And I bought one of them at the time, and then I said, let me see how the cats like them down here. And what I did was, I actually put them on top of the carpet. So there's like a Berber carpet down here. And I really like the Berber carpet down here. It goes well with the basement. Um, and I put these green rugs. And the green rugs, they don't look as nice down here. I mean, you come down here and you're like, well, why are there big green rugs down here? But I bought them because I feel like with the cats inside, when they were outside, um, you know, there was green grass, so I thought maybe they'd like it because of the green color, and I think they really do like it because of the green color. They kind of recognize this as their play area. And the other thing that I did not realize uh, about these rugs is because they are like a solid color green, you can see everything on these rugs. So right now I'm in the middle of vacuuming these rugs, and so with like this Berber, you really don't see anything because it's so many different colors and you know it's earth tones and I'm not going to be able to see like if the cats um, are shedding like their fingernails or if there's like stray pieces of litter or whiskers and stuff like you're not really going to see it on this rug as much whereas on this rug uh, you see it a lot more so right now Stella is sitting like where I need to vacuum like you could see everything on this rug, like everything, like all these nails and like all this like pieces of litter or whatever the heck a lot of this stuff is, but like it's literally like all over the place. So I actually kind of like that about this rug because if it wasn't so obvious, I don't think I would be vacuuming as often as I do. I'd be like, oh, the rug's clean. But in reality, it's not, so. And that's the story of these green rugs. Look how perfectly this Ikea bed fits under this cat tree. Like, it's a perfect fit. I had this blue basket under there, and the cats used to like to lay on it. And um, the, and the Ikea bed was next to the cat wheel, and they never, ever used the Ikea bed. So I'm going to move it here under the cat tree, see if they use it here. They should use it here, and I am going to move this somewhere.
Okay, let's see if Stella, Splash, and Simba like these trout flavored Blue Wilderness cat treats. You think they're gonna like them? I think Stella's gonna like them. Stella, you wanna pose? Pose with the treats. Go ahead, pose. Stella, pose. Simba, you wanna pose? Who wants treats? Simba likes the treats. Stella likes the treats. Simba just stole one of Stella's treats. Okay, guys, ready for more? More treats? Okay, be good. Stella, Simba. Stella, Simba. Stella, Simba. Right here. Stella Simba. Right here. I don't want to give him too many. Stella Simba. I'm going to have to save some for Splash. Okay, so... They really like these treats. These treats are Stella approved and Simba approved. Okay, one more each, guys, and that's it. Then that's it. Wow. 8.30 p.m. Stella is hanging out under the Christmas tree. She really likes laying under it. <laughs> Hydrox is getting his Christmas meal today. He is getting Merrick Perfect Bistro Turducken. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Pharaohs. This is Boo's breakfast. He's getting the Nature's Variety Instinct Raw food with herbs and water. And today is Christmas Eve. And I do have special Christmas food for the cats. Um, the issue is I am going away this afternoon and I don't want to give it to them just in case it upsets their stomach. Because they eat raw food every day, I am a little bit concerned that by abruptly switching a meal to, you know, full canned and um, a full canned meal that they're not used to, like they tolerate the uh, Trader Joe's tuna for cats really well. They don't have any digestive issues with that. But I just want to avoid any digestive issues while I might not be here because I will be gone for about 48 hours. So what I am going to do is probably save the majority of their Christmas festivities until I get back. So I just gave him his breakfast and now I'm going to give him some fresh water. Stella and Simba are getting some wheatgrass to chew on while I get their breakfast ready. Hello, Stella. Right now, I'm wearing my gnome socks. The downstairs cats are getting the same breakfast as Boo. They're being served on their Christmas platter, and they're not getting their special Christmas meal until after I'm back also. Again, just because I don't want anyone having digestive issues while I'm away. Just in case. Right, Splash? There you go. Hello, Splashy. Splashy's like, how come you didn't pet me yet? Hello, Splashy. Well, she likes it when you scratch his back. You go scratch my back. Scratch my back, please.
9.15 a.m. Splash and Simba are looking out the windows. Right now, it is about 12 p.m. and I'm about to give Hydrox his food, but first I need to make sure that there's enough dry food in the feeder to last the next several days. Hello Hydrox, how are you? Hydrox was in the heated cat shelter and uh, he came out when he heard me. So I am putting this blue wilderness dry food in the feeder. Half of this bag is already in a um, container inside. I like to take it out of the bags and put it into airtight containers. So um, the rest of this bag is going into the feeder. So here's what's going on in the feeder. There is food in there which would last several days, but I am going to top it off anyway. Here it is topped off. There's still room for more food in there, but I like leaving a little bit of space just to make sure nothing gets jammed because this has gotten jammed uh, once or twice before. So I'm going to put the cover on this. This will dispense dry food for Hydrox around 4 p.m. this afternoon and then also around 7 a.m. in the mornings. And there's Hydrox sitting on the other side of the patio waiting patiently for me to get his food. Do you guys like my Christmas sweater? Can you see it? It has a cute gray cat on it. And it has a bell. These bells, every time I move, these bells ring. And I honestly don't know how cats do it. The cats that have bells on their collars, that has to be the most annoying thing ever. Like just me walking around with the sweater, I'm like, oh my God, these bells. So I'm, I'm taking care of a few other things that I need to take care of before I can give Hydrox his food. And it was so cute because he was like right here laying under the table by his food bowl. Like he's obviously looking for his food and he's meowing right now. So Hydrox is getting his Christmas meal today. He is getting Merrick Perfect Bistro Turducken. This is Turducken. Have you guys heard of Turducken? It's uh, chicken stuffed in a duck stuffed in a turkey. And uh, I thought this was really cute. It includes deboned turkey, chicken broth, deboned chicken, deboned duck, chicken liver, peas, dried egg product, natural flavor, dried potato, sweet potato, carrots, cranberries, organic alfalfa, and then we go into minerals and vitamins. And it also has some herbs. It has thyme, sage, and rosemary, so. I think Hydrax will like this. I think it'll be something different and special for him. And I don't think it's going to cause any digestive issues because he has been eating canned food uh, this entire time. Um, sometimes he gets a little bit of the extra um, freeze-dried raw or sometimes he gets some of the frozen raw, but he never really eats the frozen raw. So he will be getting this. The other cats will be getting this also, but they're not gonna be getting it until I get back from Christmas. They're gonna celebrate their Christmas a few days later. And this is what the turducken food looks like. It's like a pate. And honestly, it looks really good. I don't know if it's because I'm super hungry right now, but. So there's what the food looks like in the feeder. It really looks like a high quality food. And um, there's the food, there's his water. Can you guys see raccoon prints on the bottom of this bowl? And here's Hydrox. He's under the table. It's just a few feet away from me. And uh, he's really eager to eat his food but he's in a really good mood. Hey, Hydrox. Hello, Hydrox. And uh, yes, it does look like the tip of his left ear is uh, tipped the same way Booze was tipped, like just barely and unevenly. It does appear that Hydrox has been TNR'd also. I just realized that I forgot to put this brick back in the feeder. This is the weight that holds like the board on top so they can't break into the feeder housing. So I'm standing here. I just put the roof back on the feeder and Hydrox walked over. He walked across the patio and now he's eating his food while I'm standing here. This is big for Hydrox. Usually he'll run the other way. Now he's walking toward me. Okay, there's Hydrox, he is enjoying his food. And he should be set up for a few days. Today is day 24 on the cat's advent calendar. You wanna help me, boo? So uh, let's see what they got. What'd you get, boo? Where are you, boo? 
What is it, boo? You gonna smell it? Okay. What is it, boo? We're gonna pose with it? Here, you wanna pose with it? Here, look at me. Okay. It is heart to tail premium cat food, cod, sole, and shrimp entree. You guys are having three fishes today. Yay, how do you like that, boo? You guys like Italian cats, but you're not having seven, you're having three. So it's cod, sole, and shrimp entree. The ingredients are cod, liver, meat byproducts, fish, water sufficient for processing, sole, shrimp, natural and artificial flavors, guar gum, potassium chloride, added color and other artificial colors, and then there's vitamins and minerals. So is this a really high quality premium cat food? I would say no, because it does have byproducts in it and it also has some uh, artificial ingredients. Um, so I'm not 100% happy with the ingredients, but uh, this is just a special treat for them. Again, this is not their main meal. This is just a little taste for them. Right, Boo? Boo, you like tasting food? I know Stella likes tasting the food. Do you like tasting the food with Stella? This is what the food looks like in the can. It just looks like a typical uh, cat food pat thai. Boo is eating his little treat size sample on a meowy Christmas plate. It doesn't smell terribly fishy. It reminds me of the smell of, you know, those fake seafood sticks. Sometimes they make sushi out of them or like the fake seafood salad. That's what it kind of smells like. Now, Boo has not finished his breakfast. It's still early in the day. It's just a little past noon. So um, I'm going to give this to him right here next to it. I'm going to put the edge under the tray. It's going to be harder to move around. But I would think, I would think that the cats will like this because it is fish and out of all of the canned food that they have tried for this Advent season, they have really enjoyed the fish food the most, which to me is just an interesting observation. I just put Stella's portion on the platter. Let's see if she likes it. Maybe she won't like it. She should like it. Boo likes it. Do you like it, Stella? I don't know what that noise was. It was like some kind of weird noise coming from the laundry room. I think it's safe to say that Stella likes this food. She seems to be enjoying it. Hello, Simba. You don't want any food? You don't want your treat? You don't want your Advent treat today? Want to smell it? Want to smell it? Does it make you hungry? No? You don't want it? And there's Splash. Just sleeping on the ottoman. Stella was sleeping on the ottoman with him. The two of them were cuddling together when I came downstairs before. And uh, now it's just him. I wonder if he would like some food on a little plate. But I don't want him to get used to like being served food wherever he's sleeping. Like That's not going to happen. I just feel like, okay, they know Stella's eating. If they were hungry, they could easily get up and eat with her. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put their portions aside. 
Stella finished her food. Wow, Stella, Stella really liked it. Right? So here's how the cats are prepped for uh, the next 48 hours while in the way. They have this dry food here in this feeder. That's more than enough for them. They have this uh, large water reservoir. They also have water here. And then we have the three automatic feeders. These are all set up. They did have some treats in the open compartment, but the treats have all been eaten. Now all three of the cats, Stella, Splash, and Simba, will all be downstairs for 48 hours. Boo's gonna be on free roam upstairs. This is the first time he will be on whole house free roam for such an extended period of time while I'm away. Usually uh, most he's done is about eight hours while I'm out of the house. So hopefully he'll be okay. He really just likes looking out windows. And here's what's inside of these feeders. Uh, this is their dinner tonight, it's the raw food. That is their breakfast tomorrow, that's raw food. Um, and then dinner tomorrow is their dry food along with some freeze-dried raw. And then breakfast the next day is dry food and freeze-dried raw. And then after that, they're just gonna have uh, their dry food, but I should be home uh, the following night. I just gave Boo two tablespoons of dry food in this bowl, um, and he ate the whole thing. I thought maybe he could just slowly munch on it. No, he ate everything. 1.30 p.m., I wanted to be out of here at one o'clock, running late, and here's Boo hanging out on top of the cat tower in the front window. If he just hangs out here and in his room, I'd be perfectly happy because then he hopefully won't get himself into any trouble. But I have cameras positioned everywhere I think they need to be. There's a camera on him right now. There's a camera in his room. There's a camera in the kitchen. And uh, the cats have cameras downstairs. And because the downstairs cats are now confined downstairs for the next 48 hours, I just gave them this tower of tracks. Um, this was a gift that they just received uh, a few days ago. So I'll leave it here for them to play with. It's something new. And um, they have plenty of toys. They have like all kinds of ways to amuse themselves. They have plenty of soft things to lay on. They have water, they have food, they have litter. So everything should be okay. <laughs> Good job, Stella. You guys did such a good job eating all of your food. That's right, Simba. Good job. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. It is 9.46 p.m. I just got back. Boo is very happy to see me. I've been away for 56 hours. I thought I was only going to be gone for about 48 hours, but it ended up being a little bit longer. So it's been 56 hours. That's Boo's dish. So he ate all of his food, and that was from his breakfast on the 24th. And here's the automatic feeder. Um, this is the empty compartment um, because this was the compartment that was open when I left. Let's see what he did. Um, it smells like there's some raw food in here that he did not eat. Let's take a look. Hopefully he ate the dry food out of here. I don't want him to eat the raw food. Yep. So there was dry food here, there was dry food here. He ate all the dry food. And here's the raw food from dinner 
um, on the 24th, and that would be breakfast on the 25th. That would have been dinner on the 25th, and that would have been breakfast today. So, um, yeah, these have to be, uh, these are going to be tossed in the garbage. They're just starting to smell ripe. It's just a slight odor. It could be coming from here, too. I don't know where it's coming from. Okay, so I just took this tray out of the feeder in Boo's room, and I actually gave it a really good sniff, and this smells perfectly fine. Um, it does not smell like it has started turning yet, so that means what I was smelling in his room was the litter box, because the litter box has not been scooped. Um, and I would say about 60 hours, um, it was scooped the morning of the 24th, and right now it is 9.30 p.m. on the uh, 26th, so, um, yeah, this stuff I mean, does not smell bad, and um, it had to be the litter box, so I just wanted to clarify that again just because I'm making observations. Now, some people are super paranoid about leaving raw food out too long for cats in general, and I just wanna remind everyone that on these videos, I'm not telling anyone what to do. I'm merely documenting my experiences and what I do and what I'm doing for my own future reference. Um, I'm not advocating for anyone else to feed their cats a certain diet or in a certain way. That being said, I did make many observations on these cats when they were living outside. And one thing that I did observe is that when they made a kill, um, when one of the cats killed a bird, they would usually all um, eat the bird. Well, it would be Stella and the two kittens and they would share the bird. They often left part of that bird and they would like bury it or go back to it sometimes a day, sometimes two days later. So um, that's why I have no problem feeding them raw food and putting it in the feeder um, for, you know, 16 hours or so. So this is what the dry food dispenser looks like downstairs. Uh, as you can see, they've eaten a lot of the dry food over the past uh, two days. This is what they had for dinner tonight because um, the feeder does not have enough compartments to feed that many meals so tonight's dinner for them was from was this and um, Boo cannot handle one of these feeders um, he'll eat it all at once and make himself sick probably and um, at least these cats they just eat some and then they they leave the rest so so let's see what we have going on with their automatic feeders did they eat all of their food or did they leave some of the raw like Boo did okay so here's the first feeder It is completely empty. Here's the second feeder. It is completely empty. And here's the third feeder. It is completely empty. These cats did such a great job. Good job, Stella. Good job, Stella. You guys did such a good job eating all of your food. That's right, Simba. Good job. What a good job. Okay, guys, I'll give you some dinner now, okay? The cats are going to get this can of turducken for uh, their dinner right now. They are each going to get one quarter of this can, and this is a... I believe it's a six ounce can. It's not one of those really small cans. This is a 5.5 ounce can. So I'm gonna split this four ways uh, between Stella, Splash Simba, and Boo. Uh, even though Boo just had his dry food. I feel like they had their dry food down here in that feeder, so they should enjoy this. Actually, I am giving them three quarters of the can and I am going to see how much of this they eat while I unload the car. And whether they get the other quarter of this can will depend on whether they finish this or not. I just came outside to put some water in this kitty cafe because there is no food or water in it. It's completely empty. 
and um, I just filled it up and as I like slid it out like you hear the sliding noise now I have not seen Hydrox at all while I've been unloading the car or since I got back but I guess the sliding noise I guess he knows what that is because he just came out of his heated house isn't that cute so I'm gonna give him some food also I just gave him half of a can of the nature's variety uh, pride by instinct can cat food Here's fresh water. I put a little water in the canned cat food also. So that's a nice snack for him. Right now, the thermometer says it's like 16 degrees out, maybe 14. It's cold. Good morning, Boo. Good morning, Boo. Did you have fun with the cats? Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals.
8.57 a.m. I'm just getting up now. I got in very late last night and I'm trying to relax a little bit this morning uh, because I know I have like just a really full day ahead of me. And um, so I just got up and here's Splash near Boo's door. Now Simba was also just near Boo's door, but Simba saw me and he ran into the kitchen. I guess he's waiting for his wheatgrass but um, they're happy to be back at Boo's door and looking at him through the gate. Right, Splash? Right, Splash? Splash. 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 And there's Boo. Boo's right by his door. Good morning, Boo. Good morning, Boo. Did you have fun with the cats? Boo was on free roam upstairs for a little more than 48 hours. 
while I was away for Christmas. So um, they didn't get to see each other through the gate. The door was shut between the upstairs and the downstairs. So they're getting reacquainted, right? You guys are getting reacquainted? Stella and Simba had some wheatgrass this morning. And now they're getting their raw food. Splash has been letting me pet him. Right, Splash? Stella's been letting me pet her. I'm not sure where Simba is. They're very happy to be getting fed this morning. Every time I checked in on them while I was away, they would be sleeping. Boo would be sleeping upstairs and they would be sleeping downstairs. So it seems that when they're left home alone, they pretty much just like to sleep. So they all got some really good sleep uh, over Christmas Eve and Christmas and yesterday. They're caught up on sleep. Whereas I could still use a really good day of sleeping late. Because that hasn't really happened yet. Hello, Simba. Who's getting his breakfast? He's getting the Nature's Variety Instinct Raw Bites with his herbs, some water, and a little bit of the cat grass powder. 11.02 a.m. Stella was just sitting here by the door in the sun looking out the back window. The minute I take the camera out, though, she moves. So these cats are getting too smart for the camera. Hello, Stella. How are you today? Right now, Boo is in his room. The gates are up and uh, the other cats are on free roam because I want them to look out the window while it's sunny. They've been downstairs for about three days. They haven't had a chance to look out the window. So um, that's why I have it the way I have it. I have a very, very full day in front of me. I thought things would calm down after Christmas, but something happened yesterday. So uh, the next three days are going to be absolutely insane for me. And then we're expecting snow after that. So I'm just really hoping um, that at least after New Year's, things calm down for me. Um, but then it's just back to work as normal. So I don't know. How are you doing, Stella? They're so happy I'm home, right? Stella, you're happy I'm home. Yeah. They're happy cats. It is about 20 degrees right now. I just came outside to give Hydrox some food. And here's Hydrox laying in the sun by the house. It's a really warm spot that he's in. Okay, so there's Hydrox's food. I just gave him half a can of the Nature's Variety Pride by Instinct. And I gave him some fresh water. And he is set uh, until later. Well, he does have dry food out of the feeder, so he has that. And there he goes. He's walking over to his food, and he's gonna eat it. It is about 7 p.m. It is about 15 degrees out. I just gave Hydrox some fresh water. I gave him half of a can of the Nature's Variety Pride food. And um, this feeder was frozen to the ground. I had to kind of uh, pick up part of the cord and kind of lift it up. And so I'm leaving it right here. And there's Hydrox, he just came out of his heated little shelter and um, he's standing there. He's probably gonna eat some food. I'm going to go inside. I am not going to keep him out in this frigid cold longer than he needs to be out here. So I'm hoping I'm able to get some sleep tonight and we don't have a bunch of cats trying to climb gates. But also because it is so Look. He just slid that box right out. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. It is 12.30 a.m. and we have a new experiment tonight. 
So the gates have been moved to a brand new location. They are now in the doorway between the kitchen and the hall. And it's really weird how I have to put these gates up because there's the trim on the bottom here. So because of this trim, I can't put the gates low like I normally would. And the trim is fairly high. So these gates have to go on top of the trim. And if I only put the, um, the door gates in, then there's too much room on the bottom. And I know Boo can, you know, slide under or Simba can slide under. So I have um, these tension gates like I did in um, Boo's door and the other door. I have the three of them. But because there's such a large space on the bottom, um, I put the other white gate on the other side. But again, there's a gap there. There's, I would say there's like, I don't know if you guys could see that, but between the white gate and then like these other gates, there's a few inches. So I'm feeling like if Simba jumps on top of like this gate or this gate, and uh, if he tries to climb it, if he slides down, he might actually be able to slide himself in between the white gate and the other gates. Um, or Boo might try to get under this bottom gate and then um, knock the other gate. So um, I put this box on the bottom, this wheatgrass growing kit. It's a fairly heavy box and it's like a perfect size to fit right under the gate. But there's a little bit left over here. So I just put a box of greeting cards. So right now, right now Simba's on the other side of the gates. And um, Stella was there like a minute ago. She's still there somewhere. Yeah, she's a few feet away. And um, so this is going to be an experiment. They're both sizing up the gates right now. Boo's sizing up the gates and Simba sizing up the gates and... They both look like they want to climb it. Do you see Simba sticking his paw all the way through? Um, so I'm hoping I'm able to get some sleep tonight and we don't have a bunch of cats trying to climb gates. But also because it is so... Do you look? He just slid that box right out. Okay, I just moved out that box of cards, which Boo was able to move, and I put in a very, very heavy CD box set. So, um, he's not going to be able to get under these gates. If he moves that, if he moves that box set, this cat is way stronger than we think. He might actually move that. I need to look for something smaller and heavier. 8.30 a.m. Good morning, Boo. Good morning, Boo. Boo slept on bed all night. I guess he missed me when I was away. And then when I came back, he was in his room because the other cats were on free roam. And then last night, he had free roam. Good morning, Stella. Hello. How are you? Hi, Stella. I got these slippers for Christmas. Aren't they cute? They're black cats. I thought Stella might like them. Good morning, Splash. Splash loves sitting on top of the cat tower and looking out of the window. He loves it. Hello, Splash. So since I will be using these feeders again tomorrow, most likely, I have kept them running. I usually unprogram them um, when I'm done using them, but I will have to reprogram them tomorrow, so I'm just going to keep them active. So what I've done um, is I've put about a half of a tablespoon of dry food in each feeder compartment. So uh, at 7 a.m. today, all three of these dispensed um, a half tablespoon of the dry food, and then Tonight at 7 p.m., they will also dispense a half tablespoon of dry food. So that'll be the servings of dry food for the cats, a little partial serving. And um, it keeps the feeders active, and then it, it 
you know, trains the cats that when they hear the noise that uh, food is going to be dispensed and it's not just going to dispense an empty compartment. So let, let's check on this one actually because it's empty. Did they eat it all or did it not dispense properly? Okay, that dispensed properly. They just ate it all. Hello, Stella, are you hungry? Would you like breakfast? So Simba has decided that he doesn't want to eat his food. Instead, he wants to look out the window. That is more important to him than eating his food. So I guess he's not hungry. 11.10 a.m. It's about 13 degrees out. I'm just about to go outside and give Hydrox his food. He's getting a little more than half a can of the Nature's Variety Pride Champs chicken recipe. He's also getting some fresh water. There's Hydrox. He just came out of his warm shelter. And I'm really curious to see what that thermometer says, like what the temperature is there, because it's getting some sun and stuff but I'm not going to scare him, so. And there's Hydrox, he's eating his food. It is now 12, 11 p.m. I wanted to go outside because I need to get some stuff done, but there's Hydrox, he's still at the feeder. I don't think he's been there for an hour, but I got sidetracked getting other work done inside and, um, yeah, I don't want to go out and disturb him. I'd rather he eat. It's about 12.30 p.m. and the thermometer on Hydrox's little house is at about 30 degrees. So 30 degrees is a bit warmer than 16 degrees. I just moved the little sunroom over for Hydrox. So we'll see how well this works and uh, if it bring some additional heat to that little area under there. Um, this is where the sunroom was all last winter. It was just like this, except there are some additional rugs underneath it. I'll see if I could find any in the garage. I just put that little striped mat under there. So we'll see how Hijax likes this. It is 6.57 p.m. I just give Hijax some um, wet food and some fresh water in the heated kitty cafe feeder. It is about eight degrees out right now. So these heated feeders work really, really well to keep the food from freezing and to keep the water from freezing. So that's great. Because without this, everything would be frozen outside. All the water's frozen and the food would be frozen. Now there is dry food in the automatic feeder. Look, Hydrox is happy. His tail's up, he's stretching. Happy boy. So as I was saying, there is dry food in the automatic feeder and it should dispense without any problems all winter. That's what it did last year. It had absolutely no problems dispensing the food all winter. So hopefully it's working well. I don't know where Hydrox is going. Maybe he's gonna go take a poop somewhere. I just heard Boo's automatic feeder go off, so it should have dispensed him some dry food. He's in training mode with that automatic feeder, so. It's just dispensing like half a tablespoon of dry food every time it goes off, just to teach him how to look for food in it and then eat food from it. I'm shooting this through the gates in his door, so that's why it's hard to see him but he's eating the food out of it, so mission accomplished there. The downstairs feeders also dispense dry food, and um, the cats have not eaten it. They were more interested in their wet food. And this is what they're getting for dinner. It's their standard dinner, the Primal Raw Turkey Nuggets, with a quarter cup each of the Nature's Riding Instinct Raw Chicken Bites. And I've added some water to it today. Come on, guys. We're going to eat. Who's hungry? Guys hungry? Wanna eat? Let's eat. Watch out, Boo. Come on. Hey! Ow! Did you see what he just did? 
Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Pharaohs. 7.45 a.m. Good morning, Boo. Boo slept in his room last night. Gates are on the door. He's happy in his cat tower. He gets to be comfortable and he gets to look out the window and see the cat feeder and see Hydrox and see everything that's going on outside. Good morning, Stella. How are you today, Stella? Stella, Splash, and Simba had free roam last night. And um, I gave them their breakfast in their automatic feeder last night before I went to bed. Because I have a very early and busy morning. And there's Simba in the front window. 8.30 a.m. The feeders went off this morning. And... Cats have not really eaten their food. It looks like they ate some of this one on the right and a little bit of the one on the left. And when they dispensed this morning, I think it was around 7.45 when I came down here. I think what happens is the cats are confused because when I'm home, they would rather eat food that I give them than food from this feeder. Like they're okay eating some dry food out of the feeder because I feel like they think it's like treats or something. But... They don't want to eat the regular food out of the feeder, but they're going to have to. So this is all they're getting right now. I'm not giving them any dry. I'm not giving them anything else. It's about 10, 15 a.m. This thermometer says it is 15 degrees out. I am just about to give Hydrox some food. He's getting half a can of the Nature's Variety Pride by Instinct, a Champ's Chicken Formula. And if we look at this thermometer um, under the sunroom, that's attached to the heated cat shelter. It says it's 34 degrees on that thermometer. So that thermometer says it's 34 degrees. And this thermometer is 15 degrees. So that's like a 20 degree difference. The kitty cafe is frozen to the ground. I can't move it. But at least everything in the metal bowls is not frozen. It's mail time. Okay, let's start from the small, and then we'll go to the large. What do we get? What'd you get, Boo? What's in the package? Share photos of your cat playing with our toys. Polydactyl cats. Polydactyl, thank Mew for your order. Boo. Come on, Boo. Not now. Not now. We're opening. This says coal and marmalade. Chris Poole Cat Servant. Coalandmarmalade.com. Watch out, Boo. Come on. Hey! Ow! Did you see what he just did? Boo! Stop that. This says, hi, LF. Thanks for all you do. Here is a small gift for the cats from Paul C. in the UK. Well, thank you, Paul C. It looks like Boo is already very interested in his toys. And uh, they say coleandmarmalade.com. And I don't know what these are. Are they like Q-tips? What are you eating, Boo? Stop that. Oh, that's just a piece of paper. These look like cotton swabs. Are these cotton swabs for cats? But you're not getting it now, boo. So there's one for each cat. There's four here, and they should definitely like them. These are catnip toys. Okay, boo. No more scratches. No scratching for toys, okay? Whoops. Okay. All right, next package. What do we got here, boo? We don't scratch for toys, right? No scratching for toys. What they get? It says, Dear Lucky Ferals, Happy Catmas. I hope you enjoy these balls with bells. Stay well and no fighting. Dave. Thank you, Dave. 
These are Cat Pals Balls with Bells, a classic toy to inspire cats to run, roll, and play. And Boo loves these, and Simba loves these. Actually, all the cats love these. So um, they will definitely enjoy playing with them. Right, Boo? You going to pose? You want to pose with those toys? Okay. This says, Hi, Lucky. Happy New Year from Lisa McGovern, Sheba, and Muffy. Well, thank you, Lisa McGovern, Sheba, and Muffy. We have a video capture card. It says, Capture Analog Video for Your Mac, PC, iPad, and iPhone. This is really cool. Who must smell the catnip on this other envelope? Who I'm trying to film a video and you're making all kinds of noise. This is something that I had on my Amazon wish list because what this does is it helps you digitize old VHS tapes and I have a ton of old uh, VHS tapes that I would love to um, put onto uh, my computer and make digital files out of. So um, this is really cool. So uh, thank you guys for sending this. Okay, now let's move on to the boxes. Oh, I gotta get my box cutter. <laughs> What do we have here? It looks like food. This says, hi Lucky, here's a little gift to keep Boo, Stella, Simba, Splashy, and Hydrox happy and healthy this winter. Enjoy from Yogi, Izzy Boo, and Alice J. Well, thank you, Yogi, Izzy Boo, and Alice J. This is awesome. This is the Nature's Variety Instinct original dry cat food. They love this food. This food is like crack for cats. I'm down to my last bag on the dry food already. And uh, so now I'll have this as a backup for uh, the month of January. This should actually keep the cats good probably well into next month. So uh, thank you so much for sending this. Boo's already looking. He loves his dry food. He probably smells it through the bag. Okay, this is a bigger box. But it's light. We have smaller boxes. Well, that looks comfortable, right? Look how soft that is. It's a really good size. This is Amazon Basics. That's what it looks like on the other side. They should love that. That's nice and squishy and comfy. So that's awesome. Oh, looks like we have another one. And here we have another pet bed. It's the same exact pet bed. These look really, really warm and cozy, especially for the winter now. This says, Hi, Lucky Ferrell's mom. Thank you so much for caring for and loving Stella, Simba, Splash, Boo, and Hydrox, and letting us all see and enjoy them every day. Happy holidays to you and all yours from Alexander Ginsburg. Well, thank you, Alexander. That was very nice of you to send these uh, pet beds to the cats. I'm sure that they will love using them. What do we have here? There's a lot of stuff in here. This says, Hi, Lucky Ferrell's mom. Thank you so much for caring for and loving Stella, Simba, Splash, Boo, and Hydrox, and letting us all see and enjoy them every day. Happy holidays to you and all yours from Alexander Ginsburg. Thank you, Alexander. Here's another box from you. And we have Go Pets. This is really cool. This is like a scratching ramp. And um, it looks like it has like two little holes on the side. See those? They love anything like that. So that is great. They're going to enjoy this. 
And that's what it looks like. It looks kind of like a piece of Swiss cheese a little bit. And then here's another one. So there's two of them. So there's one for upstairs and one for downstairs, which is great. And it's the same thing with the pet beds. There's a pet bed for upstairs and a pet bed for downstairs. And we also have a pet grooming glove. This says it cleans and softens coat. Ideal for all coat types. It says brush away the mess. This grooming gloves allow you to brush away dirt, grime, dander, and loose hair from cats and dogs of all shapes and sizes. More importantly, it helps stimulate the healthy oils on their skin, which can improve the softness and radiance of their coat. A healthier home, gentle on the skin, thanks to soft bristle tips, our grooming glove not only helps reduce the amount of hair left behind on furniture, clothes, or in the car, it can help reduce allergens in the air for cleaner, healthier breathing. So that's really cool. I am definitely looking forward to trying out uh, these grooming gloves. Thank you. It is 11.40 a.m. and the cats still really haven't eaten much of their food. They've had quite a bit of treats today. They've had some meaty steaks and they've had some other treats and there's been a whole lot of commotion going on in this house today so right now I am going to give them some dry food um, in their feeder for dinner along with some of the freeze-dried raw food they should like that they'll have the rest of the day to finish this raw food and then tonight at 7 p.m. these feeders will dispense their dinner it is about 11 p.m. I just got home a little while ago and um, I said hello to Boo, spent some time with him. Now I'm downstairs hanging out with the other cats for a little while. They all ate their dinner. They all had dry food in the automatic feeder. They had freeze-dried raw in the automatic feeder. And um, they had treats today. I might give them a little bit more of the dry food before I go to bed. And I'm super tired right now. There's Splash. He looks like he just woke up. That's what they usually do when I'm not home. They just take naps all day. One of the things I did today that was actually productive was go to Costco and buy a new runner to replace this runner. So um, this runner has been down here, I would say, maybe like a year now. Um, I think it's been a year. And it's in pretty bad shape. I mean, it doesn't look it from here. But the bottom is all torn up from where the cats have torn it up. And it's just really ragged. It's a mess. You might not be able to see it. It probably doesn't look as bad on camera. Um, but the backing is starting to deteriorate also. So I wanted to, to get a new one to replace it. And these are inexpensive as far as runners go. Um, so... I'm going to be tossing this one, and I picked up this one to replace it, and I uh, got this at Costco. It was $9.99, so for 10 bucks, I have a new runner, and it should last a year like the other one did. This says machine wash separately in cold water, gentle cycle with mild detergent. Do not bleach or use fabric softener, hang to dry, do not iron, do not dry clean made in Canada. So yeah, so let's take the label off and put the runner down and see how it looks. So here's the new runner and uh, it definitely feels better than the old one. Um, it feels just like newer and more substantial. I don't know if they're making them different or if this is thicker or it's just because it's newer, but uh, it feels better. Stella seems to like it. Hopefully they're not going to tear it up as much as the old one. And um, I think I like the color and the design. Um, at first I wasn't sure, but I, I think I think I'll like it. Um, this was the only one they had that was light in color. Everything else was like very uh, black and dark brown. And 
this was the only one that had any like beige or lighter gray in it and um, that's why I got it I had nothing to choose from this was the only one so I guess I was kind of lucky in that regard that they actually had something lighter that would go with the lighter colors down here So Stella likes it. Stella says, oh, I got a new rug to lay on. Stella and her fluffy belly. Simba? Simba, do you like the new rug also? Gray cats tend to like gray rugs. That's what I've noticed. They're also just very happy that I'm home. This is another small rug that I am replacing today. This rug um, is definitely five years old. Um, I want to say it's anywhere between five and seven years old. I don't remember exactly when I got it. But this rug has not been in a heavily trafficked area. It's just always been in um, spare bathrooms. Since it's black, I could see everything on it. Every little cat hair. See all those cat hairs right now? Like every little cat hair is visible and this has just been vacuumed. And um, it's really, really annoying because right now this rug is right near where the litter boxes are. So the litter boxes are in this shower stall in here. And um, then the cats come out here and a lot of the litter just stays on this mat thing. And there gets to be a ton of like litter and stuff usually around here and since this is black it's always a nightmare so I've been wanting to replace this with a different rug and I haven't had a chance to do it so today I went out and I bought a bunch of new rugs to replace stuff so now the back of this rug is not too bad like it's worn in some places but overall I would say that the condition of this rug is satisfactory although look here look the back over here the back of this is really starting to come off so um that's not good i'm glad i'm replacing this but uh in general it's okay so i think what i'm gonna do is i think this is going to go into the garage i tend to like to take the um rugs that i don't use in the house anymore and put them in the garage so like right now i would say two-thirds of my garage um, has rugs on it and I just like it better than the plain concrete floor so um, this is probably gonna end up going out in the garage also. This is the rug that I bought to replace that rug. This is from Bed Bath & Beyond. It was $19.99 but of course you can use a 20% off coupon or a $5 off coupon and it helps bring the price down. This is a Mohawk Smart Strand rug. Basically I bought it because it was a beige rug that I thought would go with this beige tile and I thought it would not look as horrible as the black rug does all of the time and it was one of the only rugs that they had um, this size and uh, this color so that's why I got it and there really were not many rugs to choose from. It says that this is an accent rug that's probably the proper term for these rugs accent rugs. Um, so while I hate the fact um, that is going to camouflage um, a lot of like the litter and the cat hair and stuff like that. At the same time, I think it will look better because it's going to camouflage a lot of that stuff. And it's not going to be an eyesore on a daily basis um, between vacuumings. And there's Hydrox. He's just hanging out on this little piece of rug under the house. I don't know if he just walked from the side of the house or what, but I'm going to give him some dry food. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals.
9.50 a.m. Good morning, boo. Boo was on free roam last night, and he slept on the bed most of the night because every time I remember waking up, I had a cat on top of me. Last night, the gates were put between the kitchen and the hallway. And uh, there's Simba. I could see Simba. Can you guys see Simba? I don't know where the rest of the cats are. Hello, Simba. Good morning. Good morning, Simba. First night with the new rug, and cats have already started flipping it over. Now, Simba got a little bit of a scare this morning because when I went to take the gates down uh, one of the top gates just fell off and um, made a big banging noise and Simba was kind of close by but he didn't get hit or anything how are you Simba how you doing Simba It's okay, it's okay. Hello, Stella. I smell like a weird smell down here. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the new rugs. I don't know if someone had an accident. I mean, it's not really like a poopy smell. Maybe it is like a poopy smell. What am I smelling, guys? Did someone just take a poop? I think what I'm smelling is this rug. Um, because it does have a bit of a, um, it's not like a poopy odor, it's kind of like a, um, rubbery, chemically odor. I think it's from the backing on the rug, I don't know. Um, but it's really just this one area that I smell it in. I don't smell it in the bathroom area, and I don't smell it, I don't smell it in this bathroom area where the cats have their litter and stuff, and it looks like Stella really likes this new rug also. Stella, you like the new rug? You like it? And Simba likes this new rug. And there's Splash. He's kind of scared from all that noise when the gate fell down. Giving the cats some wheatgrass. They haven't had that in quite a few days, so I'll let them pick on that. This is what the cats are getting for breakfast. They're getting their Nature's Variety Instinct Raw Chicken Bites. They're also getting some herbs. They're getting the Adrenal Formula because they were stressed this morning with the gate falling. They're getting Rescue Remedy Drops. They're getting some wheatgrass powder. And um, I don't have any bottled water down here, so they're not getting any water. But this is what they're getting. They do have water in their water bowls. You guys ready to eat? Are you guys ready to eat? Are you ready to eat, Splash? You guys ready to eat? He wants to headbutt his mother. Then he wants to headbutt Simba. You gonna headbutt me? Boo's getting the same food as the other cats, but he's getting his herbs, and uh, yeah, that's the only difference. I think it's around 11.30 a.m. Maybe it's around noon. This blue water tub it's, it's a solid block of ice in there, like just completely solid block of ice. This is what's going on with the Kitty Cafe. Um, there's some water, I mean it's still working, and it's slightly snowing right now. We have less than an inch of snow. And last time I checked, this was frozen to the patio, I could not move it, so I want to see if I can move it and put it under the table. The thermometer says it is 18 degrees out. And if you guys could see the thermometer on the side of the cat shelter, 
that thermometer says it is about 26 degrees in there. There's not much sun today, so it's probably why it's not as warm as it could be. Okay, I just put out half of a can of the Pride by Instinct Champs chicken recipe. I don't want to put the full can out because I hear a lot of birds out here and I know they're just going to come and eat it all. There used to be a rug here by the back door that the cats used to like to lay on. I just threw the rug out because this is what happened to the bottom of the rug, like the rubber backing of the rug. It turned into just like sand. It's horrible. So I am going to vacuum that up with my uh, new Dyson animal vacuum and uh, replace this with another small accent rug. So what's happening is that the birds are feasting on the cat food that's in the heated kitty cafe, so that's not good for Hijox, but the birds are having a feast. Hopefully Hijox ate some food out of the feeder this morning. It's about 3.10 p.m. I just came outside to get rid of some of the snow and I'm seeing cat tracks. I mean, it looks like cat tracks, but they're kind of big to be cat tracks. Could they be dog tracks? I don't think they're dog tracks. They look like cat tracks because the cat tracks go here. They go to Hydrox's shelter. They go to the back of the shelter. They're actually tracks in both directions. Do you guys see some of the snow that got tracked onto the carpet? See that? So it looks like Hydrox, I'm assuming it's Hydrox, walk through the snow, track some snow onto the carpet, into the vestibule, then into the shelter. So um, it's nice that they have a chance to wipe their feet on the carpet and then also um, the vestibule and then they go into the shelter. I was just clearing off some snow in the front yard and just came back into the backyard and there's Hydrox. He's just hanging out on this little piece of rug under the house. I don't know if he just walked from the side of the house or what, but I'm going to give him some dry food. I just put a half cup of dry food out for him, so he should like that. The dry food has been in a container in the garage. I have it in like a storage container, an airtight storage container. Okay, so Splash just did this to the rug. I just watched him. What he did was he stretched on the rug and his front claws got stuck on the rug. So as he pulled them out, um, the rug moved with it. But as you can see, Stella really likes this rug.
The cats are all getting the same dinner. It is one of the Primal Raw Turkey Nuggets with a quarter cup of the Nature's Variety Instinct Raw Bites. This is like their standard dinner. They get it with some water and Boo gets his herbs. And the downstairs cats got herbs today also. They're getting the Rescue Remedy and also the Adrenal Formula. Just got this new accent rug today at the Christmas tree shop. It was $12.99 and Bed Bath & Beyond did not have any accent rugs. Um, this size that were rectangle that were not kind of like that like half circle shape and that were relatively flat. Um, when this back door opens it needs a really flat rug or else it hits the rug and it gets stuck. There's not enough clearance under the door which is fine because I don't need you know, all kinds of air coming in this back door. Um, I even have this draft dodger that I just took out just because it's so cold out right now. Usually that draft dodger goes along the bottom of the door right now. But anyway, I just got this new accent rug. Stella is checking it out. I got rid of the one that was all falling apart. I think this is good. It has a non-stick backing on it, so it shouldn't slide all over. It should be better than what I had here before. And I'll be happy if this lasts a full year. Uh, for $12.99, I think that will be okay. Pretty Stella was laying on the rug. But when I took the camera out to show you how pretty she was, she decided she wanted to get out. She doesn't like it when um, when she's reclining and then I take the camera out. I think she's getting self-conscious because so many people leave nasty comments about her. So she doesn't like that. Stella is very, very intuitive and psychic. She picks up on all that stuff. Right, Stella? No more belly rubs on camera because you don't like when people say nasty things. I know. But they don't mean it, Stella. They just don't know any better because they're stupid, right? A lot of stupid people in the world. And only a stupid person would say nasty things about you, right? Only a stupid person would try to hurt your feelings by calling you fat. Because everyone can see that you're not fat, you're just fluffy. Right, Stella? Right, Stella? Eight thirty five PM. I just came upstairs and happened to look outside and it looks like Hydrox is drinking water. Can you guys see that? Yeah, it's Hydrox, alright.